What's up, everybody? <laughs> I almost lost my hat there. Yo, good morning. Happy Labor Day to all the laborers out there. Hopefully, you're having a most wonderful day and are ready for some Pokemon trading card game action because that is what we've got on the agenda for today. So, happy Monday to you all. And to you all, a happy Monday. Let's go. Lil Will, the tier one sub in the 46 months. I appreciate you, Lil Will. Thank you for that. And thank you all so much for uh, tuning in. Anybody do anything fun over the weekend? I, uh, shoo, let's see. I got some Mexican food. That was awesome on Saturday. And then yesterday, I got some Korean barbecue, and I got some Korean shaved ice as well, which was awesome. Loved that. And I watched uh, House of the Dragon. So I've seen the first three episodes of House of the Dragon, and I have seen... The first two episodes of Rings of Power twice now, so. Oh, that sounds nice, Zeno. Levi, not up to much. Eternatus, you can definitely send codes to the chat. Knock yourself out. Sage went to Pokemon League. Thank you, Golden Face, for that tier one sub in the 16 months. You haven't been here in a few weeks. Where am I? I am in a top secret location. Rings of Power is incredible. Oh, Salavian moved. Well, that's big. Yeah, Rings of Power is the most beautiful show that I've ever seen. It's it's incredible. It's it's literally incredible. It's jaw dropping. It is like the most beautiful piece of cinema I've ever seen. And uh, yeah. I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. So, yes, very fun. Very nice weekend. And now I'm ready to game. Any gamers in the chat? We've got the new sets coming out from Japan. This is just an exciting week. We've got a lot of really exciting stuff going on because Incandescent Arcana should drop. And well, not Inc Incandescent Arcana has dropped and my boxes should so show up like uh soon. So, yeah, those are I think expected to arrive on Wednesday. So that would be cool if they did. So I'm expecting Wednesday for Incandescent Arcana. But then that's like, oh, no, what have I done? There we go. Cool. Incandescent Arcana boxes are supposed to show up on Wednesday. But like what time Wednesday, you know? So and then. Lost Origin comes out on TCGO on Thursday. Yes. So we've got a lot on the agenda. Thursday, Lost Origin. Wednesday, potentially, my incandescent arcana boxes are supposed to show up. And I'm supposed to figure out how to do those things with my other schedule that I've got going on. So it's going to be fun to figure out how to jam all this stuff into this very exciting week. I don't know what my set drops uh I don't know what my set drop stream is going to be like for Lost Origin. I really have no idea. My schedule is always kind of in flux. So I will keep you guys posted with 
the schedule for what I'm supposed to be doing. But yeah, it's all kind of up in the air for now. So this week, I promise I'll be doing Lost Origin on PTCGO and I'll be doing Incandescent Arcana Opening um, PAX IRL. I just don't know exactly what time and what days those are going to happen, but they will happen this week. 100%. I can assure you of that. Can you do an Alolan Executor V Arceus deck with Gardenia? Hmm. Yeah, what's up, Kyle? Hopefully you're having a good one. Thirty damage one of your opponent's Pokemon for each grass energy attached to this Pokemon. Two hundred and forty hit points. Flip a coin if head search your deck for five grass energy cards to attach to your Pokemon in any way you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Del Fox V Melanie Magma Basin turn one attack Del Fox V comes out in Lost Origin right sheesh what's this guy do again Heal 20 damage from each of your grass Pokemon. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. That's not very good. <laughs> that is not very good at all. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm like running out of... I don't have uh, a lot of motivation to play standard right now. Because... The next set comes out on, like, Thursday. You know? So, like, I, I can't really get, get super-duper hyped for, uh, for any standard decks because it just is, it's all going to change in, like, a couple of days. Thank you, Past Prime, for that Prime sub. Appreciate you. And also, oh, I'll, yeah, you know. Oh, Gym Leader Challenge? Yes. Well, I've been working on my Garbodor deck. I'm so glad you asked. All right. I'll probably do a little bit of standard, a little bit of Gym Leader Challenge, but I feel like starting off the day with Gym Leader Challenge. So if anybody is like down to play some games, I'm trying to I'm trying to test out my Garboder deck. Nah, expanded, bro. No, 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 no. It's too wild out there. Praxy? Cool. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of both today. What's your uh what's your screen name, Praxy? Zeno's down again. Great, I need to redeem myself for my incredibly embarrassing loss to Zeno. <laughs> Player one says, what's my plan for Thursday all day stream? Uh, everything that I'm doing right now has to be negotiated with my other schedule that cannot be revealed. Thank you, Dominic. Olmsted for that prime sub in the eight months. Appreciate you. I won the best of three, but it still felt like a win in my book. Yeah, Zeno, I yeah. I actually forgot that I even won the best of three because of because of how bad I got stunted on that game one. <laughs> I didn't even remember the win. The only thing I remember is that loss. <laughs> yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> is getting Absolutely flattened by your dream ball Vicavolt play. Nice. Shubhan can play too. Cool. 
Shubhan, are you the Losh? Player one, no, you're not losing Tricky Jim Stream. I'm here right now, aren't I? <laughs> I'm here right now. No. What's your what's your screen name, Shubham? I forget. I know, I should know by now. Oh, you're the Unwaba on PTCG. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I'm pretty sure we're already friends. Yes, we are. Very good. Cool. Let's get into some real gamer moments on this beautiful, lovely Labor Day. Who's got off work today? Anybody got off work today? Raise your hand in the chat. If you're chilling at the crib today, well, that's why I figured it'd be a great day for Gym Leader Challenge because a lot of a lot of people should have off work today. That's awesome, Dominican. That's great. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, that's sick, Zeno. Yeah, we got a little bit of like a not awesome opening hand, but it's kind of fine. Cool. We'll figure it out. Nice, I get a mully. I'm into it. Playing against water. God, I love the water deck. I've got the water deck right here. Just because I love looking at it. The Water Gym Leader Challenge deck. In my current secret location, I only brought a select amount of cards with me. But the only cards that I brought with me were my Gym Leader Challenge decks. That's right. Ooh, we got... Piplup and Empoleon. That's a really cool line. I love that. We get a couple of good cards off the mulligan. We've got our Cynthia and Caitlin here, so stoked on that. And we're looking for basic Pokemon. Yes, so I'll Cynthia and Caitlin and save the nest ball. I don't necessarily want to thin my deck yet so we'll do that i'm going to discard the field blower and we'll get three off the top that's fine we've got the troubadour and we've got nest ball taking a look at nest ball we got gullet routes wabafet mew nihilego Curly and Galater in the deck. So we could get Execute, but I think that it's probably for the best that we just start setting up our Guard of War and all Evolution Incense to go thin the deck to get Curly as well. And you can even, like, I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can beckon for that Cynthia and Caitlin back. So it's a nice little nice little thing I can do thank you real slim shady for the prime sub and the 36 months appreciate you slim I am I really want there to be a gym leader challenge queue on the online clients I mean the hope is that I guess that eventually live becomes playable and that they implement Gym Leader Challenge format. That would be sick. Cool. We've got Gloria, which we can use to go get some more basic Pokemon. So I'm definitely into that. Hwabafet. 
and golet. I think the go works in there, yes. So we can get these. And then the question is, do I want to barrier attack or do I want to back in? So this with two, it's got two energy attached now. With three energy, we'll be able to knock out my Curlia, which I don't really want. I could retreat into Trubbish and use Garbage Collection to put the Cynthia and Caitlyn back on top of my deck. Kind of a tough call right now. I feel like I could wait for like one more top deck potentially to see if I can get what I need because it seems like Praxy is kind of going through the motions as well. So let's just attach psychic energy here and barrier attack. That's fine. I'll wait another turn. Gladian. Praxis supported for turn. They could switch the Gladian with one of their face down prize cards. Now, I've got the turn two Garboder and Curlia. So if I top deck a way to get like Gallade, I'm in a beautiful spot. It looks like Praxis trying to buy a little bit more time. I unfortunately do not find an out to Gallade, but I do find a tool so I can turn off their abilities, which I really like. So we're going to put the tool onto the Garboder. And we're just going to start grinding. Yeah, we'll attach. And yeah, actually, okay, with barrier attack, nice, 30 damage. That's cool. And then next turn, I just retreat, and we have Garbador up, and we just start full, clean, full cleaning <laughs> for 180 damage. <laughs> Okay, we got Primplup now, though. The Honestly, the Empoleon that attacks for one energy is insane because it can copy direct dive. It get 100 damage snipe for just one energy. Oh, they've got the Field Blower. That stinks. Ugh. I hate to see that. So now they do have their abilities. They can use Drizzile's Shady Dealings. to go get a trainer card out of their deck. I really believe in the Garboder deck. I think that I think that there like has to be a combination of cards that utilizes Garboder that is extremely powerful. I mean, there's so many so many decks in Gym Leader Challenge depend on their abilities. And being able to consistently shut them down, I think. Is really important. So I get an Evo Soda. Yes, this is insane. Because I could Evo Soda for the Gallade. And since my opponent used Field Blower to remove my tool, I can now use my abilities which is awesome. So I can use Buddy Catch. And with Buddy Catch, it's like I'm getting ready to full clean. <laughs> so, so, so you know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, we're, we're getting ready to full clean out here. So I think you got 70 hit points. It's got to be full clean. We just turn off the abilities and go in. So then Guzma and Hala like is probably the card and we get the mystery energy, the float stone and like and like Parallel City or something. 
that's probably fine. I could do it and not even, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We're going to get Guzman Hollow. I'm all in. We're going to get Parallel. We're going to get the Floater. And we're going to get the Mystery Energy. And we're going to parallel my opponent. Floatstone to the Garboder. Mystery energy here. And we full clean for 180 damage, baby. That's it. And I don't have a hand to discard, so. <laughs> so we're chilling. I think Executor is going to sweep the game. Now, if they have Empoleon and an energy, they can knock out my Garboder. And if they knock out my Garboder, that's fine because I've got Gallade. So I'll just go get myself. Or I have teammates. You know, I can get myself whatever I want. So that's fine. Executor is a card I'm kind of back and forth on in this deck. He's kind of crazy, right? I mean, literally, you discard your hand to do 180 damage. But this deck also, like, desperately wants somebody who could do 180 damage. Because Gallade does 160. This is something new, adding Gallade to the Garboder deck. I found that there's actually a lot of synergy between Gallade and the Garboder deck. Because both Gallade and Golurk, who are, like, some of your strongest attackers in the deck, they both utilize the double colorless and twin energy and Gallade can pass the energy back. So not only is Gallade just like one of the best psychic type attackers, it just is also conservative with the energy, which really plays well into the no ability thing with Garboder. Because you can, uh, you know, turn off the abilities. You don't even need Malamar is kind of what I'm finding. So I have been successfully stalled, but we find Tropical Beach, so that's okay. We'll beach and draw out of this. Find U-turn board, which isn't going to help me move my gullets, but I do imagine that my opponent is probably also... Oh, they find... They find Irida. Irida. So they can go get Empoleon, and they can use Recall, and Recall can knock out my Garboder, which stinks, man. Yeah, I ain't super into that. That's fine, though. Let's see what we find. We've got a Psychic Energy off the top. So I could do, like, kind of whatever I want. This is nuts. All right, with counter gain. Oh, I'm not losing, so the counter gain does nothing. Oh, I definitely goofed that up. That's fine. I'll just like, <laughs> I'll just use Guzma or something to get myself. I was thinking, I was like, yo, with counter gain and Dimension Valley, I could use this attack for like one energy. But yeah, no, that's not how it's going to work here. So we'll buddy catch and go get Guzma. That's easy enough. And we'll Guzma up this guy. Am I really about to full clean this hand? I guess so. <laughs> I suppose I am. <laughs> sure. Let's put these guys back in the deck. At least I've got Beach if I need it. Attach the Psychic Energy here. Attach the U-turn board to the Wobbuffet and see a hand. Yeah, I don't even I don't even need that hand, bro. So yeah, I think that the Garboder deck like desperately needs it desperately needs a Pokemon that could just do 180. Obviously, discarding your hand is like a big uh, price to pay. But 
the idea is that you're only supposed to use the executor during like times where it makes sense. You can use executor to end the game. You can pass energy back to executor with Gallade and then like sweep with executor at the very end. Like you go N, like N us both to low hand size and then go full clean, full clean, full clean game. I definitely like that. You can use town map to like navigate your full cleans as well, which I like. I think when the new Mewtwo comes out, that maybe that Mewtwo just replaces Executor. And I can buddy catch again. So we're going to Mysterious Treasure away that to go get the Lurky Turkey. And we can buddy catch. There's not like a lot of supporter cards I have left. But honestly, I could just bridge it. Since I have my supporters, or since I uh, have Buddy Catch online, like the full clean Buddy Catch combo is actually pretty sick. Because you get to continue just playing your supporters every turn. So I'm liking that. You also just need a Pokemon that can hit 200. So with like a Muscle Band, Full Clean can hit 200, which can knock out Wailord, can knock out Torterra. Everybody else in the deck tops out at like 160. You've got Gallade at 160, Necrozma at 160, and the Lurky Turkey at 150. So he's at 190, you know, Megaton Fall, but Megaton Fall is very expensive, so... Yeah, it's it's nice to have another Pokemon that can just do a ton of damage. And I also like the one energy punch mind bend because confusion goes really well with ability lock Garboder. Being able to do 30 damage for free with a Dimension Valley and confuse on a Pokemon that's got 140 hit points is like quite good. So it can definitely help buy you time if that's what you're looking for which I really like. I felt like with the Garboder deck, it's important to lean into no abilities. So I cut I cut everything that like gives up prizes. Top deck Cynthia, that's cool. We'll go for it. Garboder back, but I don't have any tools. I don't know that there are any in my deck. I did run out of tools. Sad. It's fine. Cards left in my deck. I got boss's orders. I got counter energy. I have to be careful. But I'm kind of chilling. Because I can still buddy catch for things that I want. Like right now, I can buddy catch for the ball guy and then full clean it out of my hand. <laughs> because I'm thinning the deck, right? Yeah, Lana's fishing rod's probably good. And there's not a lot of cards left in my deck. Nine, that's fine. We're chilling for sure. Got Aqua Patch. Got Empoleon. Can use Aqua Fall. Discard all energy. 130. Which can knock out my Executor. And I've got a Versus Seeker in the deck. The thing is, I don't have like a lot of... I've been full cleaning a lot of my deck away. Yeah, you got it, Reshi. So I don't have a lot of resources left. But I've only got two prizes left to take. So we could probably do this. We'll send up Gallade. That is like the dopest top deck I could have gotten, I think. Let's buddy catch for N. And thankfully, I don't need to, like, discard all of my cards now. 
So that's cool. You guys hear that? It's trash day. Dang. Wow, right, we're swirling. Swirling slice. And I have to move an energy back. That's fine. <laughs> the studio ambiance is different here. <laughs> I'm getting Avery. Yeah. That's fine. One energy on Frogadier. The problem is I'm like kind of running out of energy. But so long as that Dimension Valley doesn't get bumped, then I've got one energy left in deck and I can just get it and use Swirling Slice again for game. All right, looks like Frogadier just gonna give me the drip. That's fine. Check my deck real quick. Yeah, there is the counter energy in there. So it should just be as easy as do that swirling slice for game. And GG's, Praxy. GG's. All right, Reshi. What's your screen name, Reshi Mine? Yeah, GG's Praxy. I love the Empoleon. It was very cool. I also, I really like the idea of building like a low maintenance psychic deck. That's what I'm trying to do here. Yes, you got it, Captain, for sure. All right, you're Sly 5 0. Cool. All right, go ahead and add me. Reshi mine, and we'll play a game. But give me one second. I'll be right back. And when I get back, play another match of Gym Leader Challenge. Hang tight.
All right. Thank you for the patience. Well, let's get into it. Sly 5 Good luck and also have fun. I've really been enjoying Gym Leader Challenge right now. I'm very thankful that uh, we've got an extra format to play. Honestly, it's like uh, it, it's fun just to have a different way to play that's not just standard. So I think having an alternate format makes standard so much more enjoyable because it makes it so that standard isn't all you have, right? has really improved this kind of downtime between standard formats tremendously. And I love playing with old cards, and I love playing with single prize Pokemon. Every game is so unique. I know. Working on it, chat. We need to get a a gym leader challenge ladder on PTCGO. I know, I know. That's the dream. That we could affect it that much. All right, looks like I'm up against a water deck. Sly 5 O's got the Snom in the active, Squirtle on the bench, and Curum. I really like this Curum. Blizzard Burn, 120 damage. A Frost Spear, just a nice little 30 30. I do have my Mew from Unbroken Bonds out, though, so we'll be able to prevent any sort of bench damaging shenanigans. I've got Bridget, which is like the best way to start the game. Garboders in deck. Ralts and Curly are both in my hand. Galades in the deck. Execute and Wabuffet are probably who we're looking for. Which is good. So we'll get these guys. I can bench my Ralts. And I don't know that there's anything else that I really even wanted to get with the level ball. I'm pretty sure I prized my Gullet. Yes, there's nothing in there. That's fine. Okay, so we will, I think, just retreat into Wobbuffet. Yeah. I could Psy Power. Nah, we just want to shut down the abilities. Make it so that Sobble doesn't do anything. Evolving into Drizzile, you know. Thank you, Jericho, for the Prime Sub in the 23 months. It's almost two years. Thank you. We got Dive Ball for Blastoise, the turn two rare candy Blastoise. Sheesh. There he is. Well, I'm glad I retreated into Wobbuffet, who has the buy the barricade ability, which prevents all other non psychic abilities from working while it's in the active spots. Synthian King. Looks like it's definitely a spread focus deck with the Curum and then the Lapras does 100 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Cool. We get Tropical Beach, so I'll gladly Cynthia and Caitlyn away the Golurk since I prized Dang, I have to get it back. Sad. We can quick ball it away though. So that's cool. We'll do that. We'll get Necrozma, evolve into Curlia, attach the Psychic Energy to Curlia, and Beach for six. And then I don't have the best cards in my hand right now. I really would like to, wow, that's three energy on Kerum. It can do some stuff. 
would like would very much like to find an out. Yeah, Guzma, of course. Oh, my Curlia. You're killing me. And I got rid of my counter energy like a buffoon. Okay. This is fine. The downside is that they cannot use Blizzard Burn next turn. They can't attack next turn. So that's okay. We still want the ability shut down. So we're sending up Wobbuffets. And i got to start rebuilding. We can put the Mystery Energy here. And I desperately want to see if I can't find... Yeah, so we're just going to Cynthia. Because I like want to find Garboder and a tool. Which we find. So I've got Beach again. We'll Town Map. So I can play out of my prizes too. And then I can Ultra Ball away. I think... Yeah, these two to go get my Garboder. And now your abilities are locked. So we've got that, we've got that, and we beach. So that's about as good. That's about as good of a turn as I could have had there, all things considered. Getting my Curlia Guzma knocked out is tough, but we have responded with Garboder, so we've turned off all of your abilities. And I've got Guzma, so I can aggress on something if I want to. May also just beach again. I could probably go behind a couple of prizes and still catch back up, so that's fine. Got the floater on their Blastoise. They can't attack with this Kyurem again since they used Blizzard Burn last turn. Water energy on a Marsh Stomp and a pass. Could have beached. It's a missed opportunity. All right, we'll evolve into Executor. And <laughs> the Evo <laughs> The Evo Soda can only be played because there is such a card as Wobbuffet Break. Isn't that hilarious? I don't really have a meaningful attack right now, so I think I'm... just going to kind of burn these cards. I guess I could have Guzman Hall. I could have Tag Call for Guzman Hall, get the Dimension Valley, but then I, my Floatstone's already here, so I, yeah, I probably didn't have that, actually. That's fine. We're just still building this turn. I want to thin my deck. So we're going to play that out. And I don't want to bench another Pokemon in case I can get Trubbish back out. So I'm just going to attach my energy to Exeggutor and Culrus. And the reason I'm going Exeggutor is just in case my Necrozma gets gusted and knocked out. Could be kind of bad for us. Do you find counter gain in Parallel City? And Mysterious Treasure and Rescue Stretcher. So that's perfect because I can... Did I say get my Trubbish back out? I meant get my Curlia back out. You know what I mean. Anyways, we're putting these three guys back into the deck. And then we can Mysterious Treasure and discard the Hisuian Heavy Ball to go get the Ralts again. And then... Yeah, we'll just beach one more time. And we're pretty much ready to go now with our board state. We know we're going behind a couple of prizes. Because Kurum's going to be able to... Oh, if this is another Guzma, this is tough. Yeah, okay. We certainly have our work cut out for us. But now the question is, who's, it's like you kind of have to go for the Garboder, right? Nope, Necrozma. Okay. This is why I loaded up the Executor, baby. <laughs> oh, 10 damage short of the knockouts. Necrozma lives. All right. 
Necrozma lives. So that's okay. Because Ultra Ball is already gone. I actually don't know if I play Timer Ball in this deck. I don't think that I do. So I feel like we should just attach this counter gain to the Necrozma. And then Necrozma can smack this thing with that. And then... And go parallel, make them discard a Pokemon. And I don't know if there's Timer Ball on this list. I would play Ball Guy to get Timer Ball to go get Curlia if I could. But I think I'm just going to be stuck with the Culverus because I'm not, I don't remember if I play Timer Ball and I don't think I do. So let's just do that. Instead, we get the Rare Candy Gallade, which is even better. So we just do that, and there is no Timer Ball in the deck, as I thought. So we got the Gallade now, which is sick. And then we can Special Laser for the Knockouts. And we definitely want Raihan off of the prizes. Love it, man. That's sick. And you can see how the Garboder is just going to eat away at what my opponent can do. They can't power draw, right? Discard a hand, draw three cards. Really good ability. They can't use Deluge. They can't use Shady Dealings. So the tough thing is building a deck that can utilize, like, use that to its advantage. I'm going to retreat into Gallade, and we could just Swirling Slice. Because, I mean, Garbodor turns off all abilities, right? So you have to build a deck that doesn't rely on abilities. Which is hard. Because abilities are really good. <laughs> They're great, actually. What's funny is that Lysander Labs makes it so that the floatstone no longer operates as a floatstone, but it is still a tool. So it does still make it so that the abilities are turned off. Because Garbodor's Garbotoxin only works if it's got a tool attached to it. And we can see as Sly 5-0 plays their hand down to like zero cards, the Garboder is just shutting everything down. I really think that 5-0 here needed to... 5-0 needed to gust the uh, the Garboder and that one chance they had, you know? Because the Garboder is just that good. But I really love this Galade. The Galade Garbodors, the GG deck. Galade and Garboder. They're a really good combo because Galade passes the energy back so that you're just like naturally conserving your energy. And like building up your attackers at the same time. Which is really powerful when combined with Garboder because 
you're locking those abilities. And Gallade, like, kind of... It kind of accelerates that energy without an ability. That makes sense. Cool. Captain Nightfall wanted to play. GG's, GG's. Yes, I'm planning on going to Peoria. I will be here working on my secret projects during Baltimore, so I will not be in Baltimore. Nah, Vince, if you want to play, just let me know you want to play. And we'll get a match in. It's all good. If I'm being honest, I would love to go to the Baltimore Regional Championships because I love Baltimore, but I, I am not very excited to uh, play this format without Lost Origin, so I'm okay missing it. Nice. I'll see you there, Salavian. Of course I'm a fan of Old Bay. I grew up in Maryland. Cool, we got a nice looking opening hand. And it looks like I'm playing a Psychic Mirror against Captain Nightfall. They've got a Psychic onto Necrozma and the Dreepster. And a long distance hypnosis to put my egg to sleep. That's annoying. It stays asleep. So, I don't have an energy. I've got Curlia in my hand. But I could just research. And I kind of like that. So let's just Ultra Ball. And just get in there. Juniper this hand. We've got Golurk. We've got Ralts. The Gallade is prized, so that's fine. We've got Trubbish and Garbodor. So I'm thinking that... Potentially setting up Golurk could be very good. Necrozma is also very good. Golurk is cool, though. Okay, grab this dude. You turn board and Juniper. Okay. Got a double colorless energy. Quick ball. Rare candy. Let's put the double colorless energy onto the gullet and quick ball away the rare candy and go get the troubadour and we'll pass that's fine is there any good way to buy online singles it's actually against the uh the terms and services of the clients, the terms of use. If you read these, it will tell you that you're not allowed to do that. So yeah, not supposed to buy singles for TCGO. But if you're looking to buy Pokemon cards, you can head over to fullgripgames.com and if you wanna buy codes, you could then trade codes for singles. You can buy codes at fullgripcodes.com. But yes, the way to get singles on the online game, mostly. Ew, all right, what if you have, if you have knockout on my Trubbish, that's like kind of annoying. But if you have knockout on my Golit, that's like even more annoying. You definitely have knockout on my Trubbish because I'm weak to Psychic and I only have 60 hit points. Okay. Sure. Let's just sacrifice it. That's fine. Are 
really hoping for a powerful draw card. The turn two, yeah, that's a lot of a lot of pressure. Would like an ample draw card off the top, but if I can't get it, then that's fine. They are getting fully set up now. Quick falling away teammates. That's fine for Ralts. Yeah, so the gang is like all here and they've got a barrier attack for knockouts. So we're kind of just hoping for the best. We find Executor. Weak to Psychic. We're definitely just going to Guzma and Hala. This turn. So. Do I want to discard stuff? I don't think that's totally. I think it's, yeah, it's probably fine to discard stuff. Let's Guzma and Hala. So when I get an energy attachment as well, discard both those. We're gonna get this. I'm gonna get that. We're gonna get that. We'll attach this here. Attach this. Go there. Put the tropical beach down and draw some cards. Okay. We're definitely in a tough spot right now because without my Gallade and Garbodor out, we are just kind of operating at a lesser capacity than most other decks. Thank you, BK Sting and Shadow Knight, for those subs. Appreciate you. Nightfall getting the rare candy into Dragapult is certainly tough. And they just need an energy. They decided not to put down the Dimension Valley. They don't want to give it to me. So they just need an energy off of this Juniper. And Forewarn in order to attack. And they discarded the Dimension Valley, so if they whiff this Psychic Energy, that would be pretty significant. They're going for it via Let Loose, because they didn't hit the Energy. And they find it there, and I get Let Loose into a theme deck looking hand, and we'll probably lose now. So, this is unfortunate. I got teammates. Okay. We'll parallel. So they obviously discard the Marshadow and then have to decide between Ralts and Inke or Musharna. Cool. And then I have teammates. And I can get already got plenty of energy, so we'll get this guy. And then I just need to like draw more cards. So we'll get these. I'm eating 20 damage here, unfortunately. Which is sad.
If they have a Psychic Energy in Malamar, then they can power up Dragapult, which can use Phantom Force, right? Which is... <sighs> Thank you, Icky, for the 30 months. Appreciate you, Icky. Thank you. So I need them to not have the attack with Dragapults this turn. That would be stellar. They've got Psychic Energy in the discard pile. They're going for Deoxys and Mewtwo. And they're going to put a Fusion Energy onto Deoxys. All right, so they're just buying more time, which is okay. We've got Dimension Valley. Culverse is probably not what we want. I'm kind of feeling myself, man. Like, I'm feeling like a... Just a no mercy, just take it out kind of deal. <laughs> and we just say YOLO, right? What's up, Brady? Thank you for those 38 months. Hopefully you're doing well, Brady. Yeah, there's no way I get punished for this line of play, huh? Couldn't see it. Uh-oh. Dragapult's getting powered up. That's fine. I just need to top deck something right here. Like, right here. <laughs> this next turn. It's essential. So they can get themselves whatever support they want. This is a cool combo. Teammates. Oh, you stacked the teammates so you can attack with Dragapult. All right. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose. That's a cool little combo. I like that. Mewtwo into Musharna. There's the Malamar. All right. I need a sick top deck right here. No, it's game over. GG's. GG's, Captain. Dang, man. I did not like my start to that game. It felt very slow. That was GG's, Captain. Let's see. Who else I had on the list? It was Lil Simba, right? Zeno. Captain Nightfall, you up for a best of three? Yeah, best of three that, bro. Best of three that, for sure. The salty run back. <laughs> yes, Captain, my Captain. You've been summoned. And we're going to let everybody predict on whether or not I can win game two. Of the salty run back. Nice. Paternal. Sounds good. I will choose second. Cool. It's a nice looking opening hand. We just got to get that Garboder out. I should have benched these guys. Oh, I forgot. Sheesh. I, for, I forgot that people be turn one let loosing. I just, yeah, man. Usually you're safe to not bench anything. Usually. But against Psychic, you're not. Like in standard, it's correct to just not bench your other guys going into, because your opponent can't mess with your hand. But in Gym Leader Challenge against the Psychic deck, it's not the case. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Cool. 
We'll discard Psychic and Boss's Orders, probably. Though Boss's Orders is quite a good card. Let me see. Is the Garboders in the deck? Curly is in the deck. Gallade is MIA. That's fine. So let's... Down Trubbish. Put down Ralts. We will... I don't have any exciting Pokemon right now. It's unfortunate. Naguzma and Hala. Discard these. Go get the beach. And... That. It's fine. Put the U-turn board here. Put the beach out. Mystery energy to the Nihilego. And we'll do that. It's a fine start. Thank you, not valid, for that sub in the 21 months. Appreciate you, not valid. And we've got a pretty unique psychic list here. We're not playing any of the spread cards. Like, we're not playing Blacephalon. We're not playing, um, you know, like uh, Spell Tag or anything like that. Now they're going to use Beach, so I'm definitely just going to Marnie that Beach away. Golet, great to have. Horror Psychic Energy onto the Golet. Wobbuffet is pretty much pointless in this matchup, so I won't bother. And we'll Marnie to disrupt their hand. And we are able to get Curlia and Garboder. So their abilities are done, kaput. And this is exactly what we're supposed to do with this deck. It's what I'm supposed to do. And then we beach again. And now you can see we're cooking. Right, you've got no abilities. I've got Golets ready to evolve into my main man. Necrozma at the ready. Dimension Valley. Which I can use to allow me to attack with Golurk with just an energy find. Find Executor and Necrozma. We'll Evo Soda to get the Lurky Turkey and Mysterious Treasure away, the ball guy, to get Execute. Slam down that and Cynthia. And we do find an energy, so that is quite good. I'm thinking that... Yeah, I don't have anything prized, but... We've just got the Gallade prize, so I need to find Town Map. Oh, and I've got both double energy prize. That's good to know. Okay. So we can retreat, take the knockout with Galurk, which is probably fine. Yes. I'm trying to like weigh the odds. What are the odds that it's like you got rare ta rare candy Gallade? If you've got teammates in your hand, you could do it, which is like kind of annoying. I think that's okay. Okay, let's just retreat and do it. We're going in. Reinforce punch. That's fine. We find a level ball, which is pretty much worthless now. Now they've got no abilities, so they can't use Psychic Recharge. They can't use Gallade's Buddy Catch. They can't use Marshadow's Let Loose. 
I can't use Giratina's Distortion Door. So you can see when we get Garboder up, I mean, it's a huge advantage for us because our deck is built to operate like this. It's built to operate as low maintenance as possible with just manual energy attachments and Gallade passing your energy back. Blacephalon can place four damage counters with its fireworks bomb. Obviously, it's better if I have three prizes remaining, but seems like this is the attacker they want. I thought about that, Charles. I've got I've already got the field blower. So like right now, I can field blower Garboder right now and do that. I thought about instead of shopping mall, maybe adding field blower and tool scrapper, because both field blower and tool scrapper allow you to remove your own U-turn board. So that was a consideration. You could also play shopping center though. So there's all of those. But I've already got three stadiums in the deck. So now we're going to put the counter energy Yeah, honestly, the counter energy like doesn't really matter. And I know that I'm just inviting up that Curlia, which is tough. We'll put the counter energy here. We'll level ball. And I'm wondering if I should use the field blower yet. I'm feeling like no. So let's just call Riss. Okay, that's fine. And we'll reinforce punch for knockout. And we're really hoping to find the Gallade. We find double colorless instead, which is fine. We just have to kind of like chew through these attackers. But there's also just like the possibility that, you know, my opponent's not drawing well because of the fact that I have got Garbodor up, right? And you can't use any of your abilities. You can't use Masharna. You can't use Let Loose. Oh, Golurk ain't unfair. He's just a, a unit. <laughs> Golurk is just like an extremely solid Pokemon. Like if you just read this card, all he does is 150 damage for three, which is like, I mean, it's good. Nice, this thing's weak to Psychic, so I can use that attack for free actually, which is sweet. So we're just going to mind bend. Was that a hit and run attack? That's crazy. All right. We find Versus Seeker, still no Gallade. It is 150 for three and 190 for four. But then of course with Dimension Valley, it can be 150 for two or 190 for three, which is very good. All right, so they can special laser now. which is fine because I've bought myself enough time to really be able to set up my dudes. We've got the Lurky Turkey. We've got Necrozma. Nihilego really only there for the final couple turns. I was making a choice between Nihilego and Copycat Mimikyu. I think I like Nihilego better in the Garboder deck. But I like Copycat Mimikyu better in a deck with Malamar in it. Because in a deck with Malamar, you can get the two energy uh, much easier. And it's also worth it to put two energy on a Pokemon with 70 hit points. In this deck, it's not worth it to put two energy on a Pokemon with 70 hit points. Because every single one of your energy drops is very important. All right, we're going to seal this one away with a Raihan to the Curlia. 
and we're going to go get town map so that I can grab the Gallade guaranteed and we'll retreat into the lurky turkey and reinforce punch for knockout and we will grab our Gallade I really like that play it's like town map is so good because you can Raihan or teammates for the town map to like literally just go get the guy you want out of your prizes. You know, and the Garboder finally goes down, but at this point I've only got two prizes left to take and I'm feeling pretty confident about our ability to seal up this game. There we go. The lurky turkey. Big chillin'. Going first next one. Sounds good. GG's captain. I love it. On to game three. I love I love playing best of threes in Gym Leader Challenge. I feel like the decks are always so close that you get you know, a bunch of good games. Love it. All right. GG's, Captain. Going into game three. Let's see how you guys predict. That one looked convincing, I think. Game one, I definitely got smacked. All right, good luck in game three. What's up, Darulu? How you doing? Thanks for being here. <laughs> the lurk is jacked. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> All right, it's a nice looking opening hand. Okay. Um, that's fine. We'll open with the egg. Tough call because garbage collection is like really good in the early game because you can use like Marnie and then garbage collection for the Marnie back just to guarantee another draw, which can be really nice. Oh, we're get I'm getting punished. No, I should have benched them. Oh my god. Uh I can't believe I'm doing this. I should have benched them. I keep forgetting about the let loose. Oh, I'm so upset. That could be a game losing slip up. Weak to psychic. Ugh. All right, we find a golet. Thank goodness. That's fine. We'll deal with Golet and counter gain on it. So they only get to draw two. That's nice. We've got Gloria for next turn, but still no energy attached. So that's not great. I'm just going to place three damage counters. That's fine. 
I think I can go one more turn without attaching an energy. That's probably okay. So let's Gloria, and we just want to establish ourselves and get set up. We've got Curly and Gallade and Garbodor in the deck. They're all there, which is awesome. So we'll get these guys. And then... Next turn, we pop it off. Quick ball away to Lusamine. Let's also just go get ourselves Nihilego just in the deck. And we'll beach. It's a lot of cards in hand. No energy. There's a lot of supporters in my hand, dude. A lot. All right, we're getting escape roped. That's okay. Escape rope. We put up Nihilego. Which seems fine. I know. In a Garboder deck, you need to play a lot of supporter cards because you don't have that auxiliary draw. And we're getting our Golet Guzmud. Mewtwo down, that's fine. Stack Erica's, and then maybe they beach. No, Psy Power again. You know you're drawing into Erica's next turn. Okay. They knock out my egg. So now counter gain's activated. We find Evolution Incense. So that's actually fine for me. We got Evolution Incense and, oh, I've prized my, I've prized the turkey? This is terrible. This is awful news. Okay. I have prized the Go Lurk. That serves me right for not checking. We've got U-Turn board. We desperately need to find energy. Desperately. So I think we're just spinning the wheel with Cynthia. That feels really bad. I could Cynthia and Caitlin, but then if I whiff, that feels really bad. So I think Cynthia just makes the most sense. Yeah, that's fine. We get Curlia, we've turned off abilities. We'll attach Horror Psychic Energy to Necrozma. And does the Muscle Band matter? Anywhere in particular, probably not. We'll put it onto the Necrozma and Beach. And it's unfortunate that we have prized the go lurk because this is like not a very strong position for my go let's to be in. I mean, I can punch for knock. You're weak to psychic. Oh, yeah. I just punch for knockout. That's fine. I punch doing 30 damage. That's cool, man. That's fine. Yeah, hey, I ain't going to let them get too much of that in. Thank you, Jesse, for the Prime sub. Appreciate you, Jesse. We're chilling, man. Hopefully you're having a good one. A little Ultra Ball away, the Level Ball, and the Brigetti. And go get our Gallade into play. Love that. And then I can parallel them. Attach that there. And I haven't played a supporter, I don't think. No. So we just verse Seeker for Cynthia and play that. See six more cards. My punch will take a knockout on the Mew. We've got Tasui and Heavy Ball. And Mysterious Treasure. That's fine. 
I don't think there's any basic that I need. No, let's go lurk in Executor Reprised. Okay, it's fine. So we'll punch. You go get him, Golit. Nice Juniper Rip. We'll take it. So we got ourselves an interesting situation. They've got a pretty big hand. Evo Soda can go get the Gallade. They can't use Buddy Catch, though, because of my Garboder. But they can Raihan, which gets them the extra energy that they want. And then they could get Field Blower if they want to. So you can see how things are really getting down to it now, right? The Garbodor's ability lock is significant. Dimension Valley is probably the grab off that Raihan to allow Gallade to attack. Can move its energy back. And they take the knockout with Swirling Slice. So now at this point, we're going to go kind of trade, 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 like back and forth for a little bit. So I'm sending up Necrozma. And we find Town Map, which is huge. Because it's going to allow me to select the guys that I want. So that's great. Well, Mysterious Treasure away. My own Dimension Valley. And I don't know that Mew like matters. I think I'm probably fine thinning Wobbuffet out of the deck, though. We'll field blower just that. And then I do need to find an energy off of this juniper, which we find, as well as the counter energy, which is huge. So I can rescue stretcher back in. Just the golet so that I have another attacker. And we'll attach the mystery energy to use special laser for the knockouts, doing 180 damage. And then off the prizes, I feel like we want to take Go Lurk. But you can see how precarious of a situation we're in right now. With the Dimension Valley up, it means that Giratina can use Shadow Impact for just two energy. So if Captain Nightfall has an energy, they can do that. I know. Look at look at how jacked the goal it is. <laughs> it's true. And they're going to end. All right. So we're both getting four cards. They don't have the energy that they need yet for Giratina, so that's big. Raihan is huge because right now, since the abilities are locked with Garbotoxin, any sort of energy you can accelerate is going to be a big deal. Yo, I, you got it, Jesse, for sure. They don't end up finding the energy, which means that I get to just continue putting on the pressure. We've got boss's orders to bring up the Giratina, so now we get to set them back an energy attachment because we've got special laser for knockout. And now in order to respond, they are really gonna need something significant, which is gonna be extremely difficult for them to cook up under Garbotoxin ability lock. I'm really liking the kind of the pressure you can put on with Necrozma, Gallade, and Golurk. I'm not completely sold on Exeggutor yet, but Exeggutor's kind of just along for the ride right now. Because he's cool, man. I mean, it's like, <laughs> he's cool, bro. He's cool. Exeggutor definitely is, is neat. It's weak to psychic dude the psi, the psy shock wow it's gonna be able to take this knockout if 
thankfully I've got Raihan in my hand, so I can respond. And I love attacking with Gallade because it allows you to pass that energy back, right? Which is so important. So we're going to Raihan to the Gallade and go get Evo Soda. And we're going to Evo Soda the Golet into the Lurky Turkey. And then we're going to attach that energy there. And I don't think that there's anything really worth using the Tag Call for. I guess I can get the Cynthia and Caitlyn. That's fine. And then we get to Swirling Slice. And I get to pass the double color. I mean, see how important this is? It's such a big deal. Gallade Swirling Slice Attack literally makes this deck. Because you're a deck that doesn't naturally accelerate energy because of your ability lock, right? So being able to pass back those energies from Gallade to Golurk or from Gallade to Necrozma, because Necrozma needs special energy for its special laser. So there's a lot of times where maybe you have the horror psychic energy on Gallade and you can just pass it back to Necrozma and then Necrozma can use it the following turn. The same thing with the double colorless energy or the twin energy, it's very good to be able to pass back Yo, what's up, Danny Brunner? Happy Labor Day to you as well. But I think that potentially Garboder is becoming my favorite way to play Psychic. Experience Share? Experience Share wouldn't be bad because, I mean, the more tools, the merrier in this in your Garboder deck, you have to play U-Turn board because it's the tool that never dies, right? So you kind of like have to play that because whenever it goes to the discard pile, it comes to your hand instead. So that's, yeah, you just play that card for sure. Because no matter if your opponent plays Field Blower, Tool Scrap, or whatever, you can always Ability Lock. That's true. I don't play a lot of basic energies. I do have five though, which is like pretty decent. And as we are seeing here, there is the field blower. Decided not to let me have my abilities though, which makes sense because of buddy catch. So trying to catch me slipping for a turn. And I think that I do have my other double energy in the deck. So I can use Guzma and Hala and I can search my deck for a stadium and two other cards. We're going to discard these and we're gonna get the other double energy out of the deck and then we can attach that to Gallade and give the Marshadow a swirly. And I love passing the energy back. You're just making it that much easier to string attacks. I know, Fabo. You're all right, Jesse. Fabo. True. Okay. But this is definitely becoming one of my favorite ways to play the Psychic deck. The Gallade. Gallade is my favorite card in the Psychic pool now. It's this guy. In fact, I didn't even like Gallade as a Pokemon until this deck. Yo, GG's, Captain. And now I like think Gallade is super cool because of this card. Isn't that funny how that happens? Literally, this singular Gallade card made me like Gallade. Before that, I was like, ah, Gallade's just like the less cool Gardevoir's brother or something, you know? But nah, Gallade, the artwork on this card is also sick. Like with the moon in the background and kind of like the hay in the foreground. I mean, just super cool, right? Love that. Yeah, I'm definitely digging the list. We've got counter gain. So like no experience share. We just kind of play like counter gain and counter energy and Raihan are kind of like our big ways to catch back up. Premonition Gallade. I was never a, fa a fan of Premonition Gallade. 
I had buddies of mine who were like super into this card. I was like always like, all right, I guess. He's cool. But this Gallade, sheesh. That Gallade owns. All right, Zeno, Lil Simba. You ready? And then Jesse, I think you're after. Jesse, did you cut the field blower from your water list? I think I've decided that it might need to be field blower that I cut. Heck no. What do you need that card for, bro? <laughs> yes, yeah, Smeef sure. Water can do infinite damage. Yeah, but water can do infinite damage, though. So what you need a fuel blower for? Uh-oh, this is not the best-looking opening hand. But we are going first, so that's nice. And I've got Hisui and Heavy Ball and Town Map in my opening hand. I know. Well, I can't decide what to cut right now, and I really want to put the Wishy-Washy back into the deck. Because Waylord and Lapras just isn't quite enough. Oh yeah, you can trade you can change, you know, that's fine. Yeah, I'll let you see the list, bro. I know there's some cards that you cut that I was like, nah, brother. <laughs> there was something crazy I remember you saying you cut last time we talked. What's up, Luna? The tier one seven, the twenty two months. The real, the problem of the whole thing, Jesse, is that I'm trying to fit. I definitely want to fit. Oh, the swell is like, yeah, swell's my favorite stadium for sure. But I want to fit the Manaphy, and I want to fit the Vulpix, and I want to fit the Hisuian Basculin. You see where my my issues are arising? I want all three of those cards. I appreciate the sub, Luna. Exactly. Yeah, Amazing Kyogre is popular enough that you ought to be playing that. Manaphy. Cool. We got a nice looking open in hand. Going first. Good luck to Zeno. We've got level ball and quick ball. That's fine. So let's quick ball. There is nothing good to quick ball away here, unfortunately. Yeah, there's just definitely no good quick ball targets, huh? Okay. I'll attach twin energy, and I'm going to quick ball away the counter energy, which feels very bad, but it's what we're doing. And let's see what we've got. We've got Garboders in the deck. We've got Curlias in the deck. We've got Raltz's in the deck. So let's go get Raltz. Start to evolve that up into Gallade, and then we'll pass. And then, you know, if I top deck a... Yes, that's it. Jesse is not playing Bridget or Gloria. See, that's what I... Uh, psh, I don't know, man. I can't, I can't get behind that. <laughs> It's fine, bro. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> no Bridget or Gloria. See, there's a lot to discuss. I mean, yeah, Basculin's good, but Bridget and Gloria get Basculin. All right, they've got 
turn one, bridge it. It's pretty good. Level ball, all that. Oh, I'm on like, in almost all of my gym leader challenge decks, I'm on the Gloria Bridget ball guy lifestyle. Like I'm not playing around. I'm uh, I'm setting up every game, dude. <laughs> that's that's mostly gonna be how we win. I mean, I definitely I cut the stadium, the Brooklyn Hill. I don't feel like you need that. I cut that for swell. Swell, I think, is the only stadium you need in the water deck. All right, we get tag call off the top. Which is fine. Let's Gloria. Okay. For these. Level ball for Curlia. Okay. And then attach a psychic energy to Necrozma and pass. I'm quite concerned about what can happen to me turn two. Playing against a grass deck that gets a very solid turn one like this, but it's fine. All right, they've got energy on Genesect and Research. The Turtwig's got a retreat of two, so it's definitely possible that I don't get knocked out turn two, but all you really need is the float stone, and you can float stone and then use energy reload to knock out my gullet. We'll see what I draw into off the top of my deck. I've got tag call. Unfortunately, got rid of counter energy. Evo Soda does not activate the Roselia, but it does activate. Uh, you could get Grottel, and Grottel can go get Roserade. So you could do things that way. It looks like we're just going in with Thwacky. Which is fine. I would like one more turn, please. That would be great. Nice old Uno Mas. Poke gear, they've already played a supporter, so it's fine. Tate and Liza. Probably just going to be... Okay, so yeah, you can use Lepar Foam if you want to and go get Floatstone to attack this turn, which is kind of a bummer for me. Or they can get Escape Rope. All right, they got rare candy into Venusaur, which is also crazy, because then you can just retreat, which is fine. So I think we're just putting Wobbuffet up this turn. Turning off abilities. Still one grass can mean the knockout on my Wobbuffet, but I'm fine with that. Wishful Baton and Gaia Blaster is fine. We could still take control of this game, but we do need some things to go well. Top deck Ultra Ball. Oh, uh, it's like really close, but let's tag call. And we can get these. And then I think we just want to beach. We've got beach in deck. Yes. So that's what we're going to do. 
We're gonna Guzma and Hala and discard both these. And we're gonna get Beach. We have Floatstone. And we're gonna get an energy. Make sure my field blower is in the deck it is. I've only got four cards in hand. Put down the beach. Horror Psychic Energy to the Necrozma. And let's draw some cards. And then we're in a pretty good spot, I'd say. We would like it if Simba does not gust this turn. Like, literally with boss's orders. Yeah. That would be good. Yo, what's up, Lizzie? How we doing? So, Zeno can just find a grass energy... And then we'll be doing 110 damage, even without the Venusaur's abilities. Looks like Zeno got disconnected, so we'll wait for Zeno to get back in the game. We've got a nice looking hand right now. With teammates and Dimension Valley. So, I should have the ability to respond... I've got Mysterious Treasure that I can use to get either Garboder or my Gallade. So both of those are good. We just want to keep this Garboder up. That is the goal. A quick Garboder can really just win like a lot of games. So that's what we're trying to do here. The Garboder was not as quick as I would have liked. But we do have Wobbuffet to kind of supplement in the meantime, right? As we can see, Wobbuffet's preventing any of these abilities from working. So if Xeno misses a grass, they don't even they can't even attack. They have to find a grass off of this. If they whiff, they surely will beach. And then it gives me an opportunity to do my thing. So I have to decide what's like the most important thing to knock out for myself. Like, do I want to knock out the Shining Genesect? Rope. Okay, allows the use of abilities which is like so annoying and it's like gotta be the curlio which is so annoying yeah that's fine rillaboom and venusaur are both out so that's definitely tough Sundra and Shell and use Rillaboom. Definitely did not want to lose that Curlia. I've got Golit in the discard pile so I can go get Go Lurk. Did I get rid of my rare candy? No, I did not. Okay. I've got Zarud. They can. Accelerate some energy to Zerud. But next turn I am turning off abilities and taking a knockout, guaranteed. So that's pretty good. And they've only got, what, a three-card hand? That's nice. I definitely want to Field Blower the Wishful Baton. The card's kind of annoying. So we'll see about that. I can teammates for it. But I want to find an energy attachment as well. So 
that's tough. They're actually going to go in with the Zarud. So I do not need to go get the Field Blower because I can just knock out the Zarud. So that's okay. They'll have four cards in hand with the, to uh, with the uh, prize. And I find a Psychic off the top of my deck. So let's Town Map. We've got Egg in there and Counter Gain and U-Turn Board. Okay. Well, it's Mysterious Treasure. And discard the Bridgets. We can go get Garboder with that. And put down Dimension Valley. And I need to be able to string attacks the next couple of turns. So with the Garboder out, we'll bench that. I can bench Nihilego, that's fine. I could teammates for Rescue Stretcher and Versus Seeker is probably good. Because then I can kind of just play from there for the next couple of turns. So we'll do that. Yeah. We're going to Rescue Stretcher to go get the Golet. Um... Could get Ralts. And then if I teammates again, I can get Rare Candy Gallade. Which could potentially be good. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll special laser for knockout. So let's see how we do. I think I need to get If I get the counter gain, then counter gain could be useful. The psychic energy is also good. We'll go there. That's fine. Now we've turned off Zeno's abilities. So they can't use Voltage Beat. They can't use Jungle Totem unless they have Field Blower in their hands, which would be pretty unfortunate for me. And they have it. Okay. Like I said, pretty unfortunate for me. For sure. So that probably will just make me lose the game. But let's... I've got two tools prized. What, there's Muscle Band in my deck? That probably will just cause me to lose. Unfortunately. All right. I've got a game plan, but it's not great. They've got Zarud back. Their abilities are turned on. This is fine. Yeah, the game plan's not fantastic. I really needed abilities to be locked that turn. That's not impossible. Boss up the Garboder this turn, that's fine. I'm actually kind of okay with that. So I don't have my Stadium, but I do have Necrozma. They go to three prizes left. That's fine. So I versus Seeker for teammates. 
use teammates, and we get rare candy and evolution incense, evolution incense, and go get Gallade, rare candy into Gallade. Thank you, Vagmoli, for that prime sub in the seven months. Attach this energy here, body catch. For N, is it even possible for me to do this? So we'll have two prizes left. They take this knockout, they'll have two prizes left. I take the next knockout. Um, I take the rod here. I don't think that I can get Garboder up in time, but yeah, we'll just special laser, it's fine. I don't think I can do it because the Garboder got, that was like a really brutal turn, getting the like off the low hand size field blower boss the garbador is like pretty bad so then my only option is probably to grab ordinary rod And they've got Zarud. So I can take a knockout with Zarud. I've got Nihilego, which can copy something for a knockout. I've got four prizes left to take. So, yes, the Rillaboom's got two grass energy on it. Nihilego can do some magic. I've got N to bring us both to a low hand size. But, yeah, gosh, that was like a really tough turn for us. Zeno's last turn. They kind of just had absolutely everything that they needed. Right, they're going to scoop up and try to reset the Roselia, which makes sense. And so they've got Versus Seeker for teammates again. So they can just continue setting up, which is cool. And I don't know what cards they are getting. I'm going to get to end to low and take a knockout, so that's pretty good. I do know the Rillaboom will be able to take a response knockout. And I definitely need to limit Zeno's hand size to make sure that nothing bad occurs. Still got a Rillaboom voltage beat they can use. Thank you, Stress X, for that prime sub. They put one energy onto Venusaur, which is fine. Chaotic Smell, it's fine. And Repeated Whip. Cool, so the Zeru takes 20. And. I think, all right, I've got a couple of things I could do. I can just put up Wobbuffet and N, like Ordinary Rod back in, the Trevish and the Garbodor and N. And then say like, hope that you like literally miss the grass energy that you need to attack off of my N. Or I go up with Nihilego and take a knockout, in which case then they have their abilities one more turn. So I think I'm 
I think I'm going for it this way. And we've got the rod. We just put the Pokemon back in. I'm going to shuffle in these two. And attach an energy to Gallade. And N. Let's limit them to two. Unfortunately, I did not find my Trubbish, which is quite sad. Throw that. And then I can use Buddy Catch. to go get Raihan is just something to consider. Okay, cool, and then pass. And we're saying, all right, I hope they do not have the basic grass energy off of this three cards. That would be good. So if I can stall them for a turn, then I've got a serious shot. So we'll see. Yes, and they have to pack call, so they do not have it. Which is quite big. So now I've got... Yo, you got it, Captain Smitty. Yo, thanks for hanging out. We find a psychic energy, which is big. But I want to set up Garboder. I could start swinging here with Psychic Assault, which is kind of interesting. But I think more than anything, I want to start setting up. I mean, like, I could Ball Guy, and that doesn't feel good. I've got Nest Ball on the deck. It would literally just be Ball Guy for that. So I think I'm thinning the Ball Guy out of the deck, and we're going to research and hope for Trubbish. But that also feels terrible, but it's kind of just where we're at, so I think that that's okay. These cards in my hand right now are not terribly exciting, so. Let's just attach to Nihilego and Juniper. All right, we find the fellas. Got Nest Ball for Trubbish. And we pass. And hopefully I top deck Muscle Band. They've got Kakuna now. And it's another pack call. We're in there. We need to top deck Muscle Band, bad. There's only seven cards in the deck. Yes, the special energy knockout B drill is the one. We top deck Cynthia. Not exactly what we want. So it's Evo Soda here. And we've got Lusamine. So I can go get Dimension Valley and parallel back with the Lusamine. We desperately want to just lock abilities, though. How many cards are in my deck? It's five. So I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if I Colrus for eight, that's a significant chunk of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you don't say, huh? Okay. That's fine. We can Culver's for eight. I've got, can I Culver's for eight? Sheesh. Yeah, I can Culver's for eight. All right, we're chilling. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll just colors for that's fine, that's fine. Two cards left in deck. I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling. Okay. Okay, so we turn off the abilities and I'll attach to Wabafets and pass. And then the abilities are completely locked now. I've got Nihilego, which can do like a one energy punch because my opponent's stuck at two prizes. I've only got two cards left in deck though. So I need to like act quickly. It needs to be like N. I can also Marnie. That's true. So I could lose a mean for two cards back. Or just Guzma, take a knockout, then Marnie. That's fine. I think I'm fine with that. So we're looking at Guzma knockouts the I'm doing 140 damage is like the best attack I can copy. So let's knock out the B drill. And we're going to nightcap and hammer in. So we'll do that. And then we're going to take a prize. And the prize we want is... I know I have to Marnie next turn, so that's fine. We'll take... Counter gain... And then they promote Grottle. Such a close game. It's really down to the wire. They got Gloria for nothing. Bench Genesect. The abilities are locked. Torterra is huge. But it's got no energy. So I have to Marnie to put more cards back into my deck. And I get five. Which is fine. And then I want to nightcap hammer in. I need to like Lusamine for N this next turn. Ugh. If we lose this game because of deck outs, that's just so sad. Because I'm right here, man. We're right where we need to be. We're mounting like the most insane comeback. Oh, we're so close. Pancakes or waffles? It's always waffles. Dang, yeah, we're so close. I just think that I might deck out. Hmm. I know I've got 
And maybe I could play one more recovery card in here. It's a terrible way to lose a game. But there's an out. It, it's just like, it's a 50-50 shot right now. I have to top deck the Lusamine. Have to. If I don't top deck the Lusamine, I lose. It's so sad. But if it's the Lusamine, I think I've got it. All right, Zeno, what you got? Honestly, I'm not the I'm not like super duper into waffles and pancakes and french toast, a lot of sugar. I'm mostly a bagel guy in the morning. Yeah, big bagel energy. If I'm going for some morning carbs, it's all about the everything bagel. All right, got the Roserade, but no abilities. All right, Zeno, the anticipation's killing me. I have to know. I have to know what my top deck is. Zeno, I'm going to call a judge on you for slow play, bro. Don't make me put the timers on for these friendly games. <laughs> yeah, Zeno, I'm going a, I'm to a call a judge, bro. It's Cynthia. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I can do. I forgot that my other card was Cynthia, so that's fine. So I just I wait, and I can still win. All right, we nightcap, and we hammer in. Okay, but I play no cards. Take the boss. So now next turn, I can Cynthia. And it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's possible that I could just barely do it. And I think that this is my lose condition, is just getting decked out. If I grab the U-turn board there instead, I think I like actually can do this. But in order to stop myself from decking out, I have to Cynthia. And then I take six. But then I cannot Lusamine without decking out. So, yeah, that's just a really unfortunate lose condition for me. Literally, if I just... Uh, if I grabbed the U-turn board there instead, I could have field blowered my own Garbodor, U-turn board, retreat, and nightcap for knockout, and then win the following turn. So, it literally was just... I should have seen that route, but I played myself into this hole here. And if I had just grabbed the U-turn board instead, then I would I had an out to it. But unfortunately I do not. I'm off by one card. Because I could play the Lusamine this next turn. And go get myself an N or something. Gosh. 
So much pain. All right, so Xeno is gonna take the knockouts. But at this point, it doesn't really matter. I can go to one prize, but I cannot Lusamine, you know? So it's like, unfortunate. I can Lusamine now, but I can't put cards back into my deck, so. Very sad. Losing the game by deck out. No. Garbodor's retreat cost is three. Unfortunately. But. Yeah, just getting that Garbodor stuck. That was so much pain. Maybe we should play like a pal pad or something. Yeah, you got it, Zeno. I lose to Rillaboom if I don't take Boss away anyway. I guess maybe, yeah. I don't know. It was very close. Very close. Because I could have taken the boss off the last prize. The second to last prize. So... No, nah, I win the best of three there every time, bro. 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We win the best of three there every time. No sweat. Easy mode. GG's, you know. GG's, as always. I felt like I did want a pal pad, though. We were... very much at the end of what our deck could accomplish. Zeno also did have like a very crazy pop-off turn mid-game where he gusted my Garbodor and had Field Blower. Yeah, that was like, or gusted something and had Field Blower. It was like really gnarly. Thank you, Ridgeway, for the five gifted subs. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Happy Labor Day. Yo, you're good, Zeno. You're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. No, oh, thank you, Ridgeway. Thank you. All right, Jesse, you said you're on the list. Let's go, Jesse. Yo, thanks for the love, Ridgeway. Oh, for sure, Zeno. I think that... Yes, you had it without me decking, but like the stalling of the Garbodor, I think I still win if I take the U-turn board there because then your stalling of the Garbodor turn doesn't work and I can retreat the Garbodor and take a knockout and then I take the boss and then I win with boss for game. You know what I'm saying? So like my misplay did end up costing me the game. If I just took the U-turn board instead of the boss, then I needed to take the boss the following turn. So that was on me. But that's a live and learn situation for sure. All right, we're going first against Jesse's water deck. We've got a broken opening hand with level ball. We've got Garboder in the deck. We've got Gallade in the deck. Curly is in the hand. Ralts is MIA. That's fine. We're going to get Trubbish. No Ralts, unfortunately, but I've got Ultra Ball, and I can Ultra Ball away. Guzma and Hala and Curly, I could save the Ultra Ball for... No, nah, that's cool. Yeah, we're just getting rid of these things. That's fine. And we'll go get Necrozma. Oh, we'll get Goblet. Attach Psychic Energy to execute and pass. We 
Jesse's got turn one Cynthia. Okay. And then can either go for the 40 damage Hydro Pump or Confuse Ray. So I'm going to do a little 40 damage. It's fine. I've got Parallel, so we'll just throw that down. Yep. And then Juniper. And unfortunately, I whiff everything that we would want. <laughs> All of it, yes. This is a miserable hand. How is it so bad? I'm not exactly sure. But it is terrible. So... Yeah, it's like that bad. Put down Wabafets. Retreat into Wabafets. And pass. Thank you, Neon Tricky Jim Sign, for the sub in the five months. Appreciate you. And thank you, Serendipitous, for that prime sub as well. Yeah, GG's, you know. That was a really close one, man. That was really close. I thought I had to, but I was like, I was very aware that the Garboder was going to be a lose con because I was kind of out of switch cards, which is my fault for not playing Tate and Liza in here as well. I think that that's probably a card that I need to play because I just don't have a lot of switch cards. So the ability for this deck to get stuck is pretty likely. So I do think I probably will need to add that. All right, we got Ball Guy. Ball Guy can get some fellas, but no abilities right now because of my Wobbuffets. Just trying to have Wobbuffet buy me an extra turn or so. That would be nice because I'm looking for like anything off the top of the deck. So even if it's like a two-hit KO with Lapras, that's okay. Because I've got the Trubbish here. I mean, I can... Also, once the Wobbuffet gets knocked out, I do have like a bailout plan of counter gain on Trubbish, garbage collection, put the Juniper on top. It's not great, but it is the route we have. We find Mysterious Treasure. Which is cool. It is cool. I don't have like a lot of interesting Pokemon left to get. Kind of just going to Gloria for these guys. And then just play it by ear. Yeah, I'm thinking we Mysterious Treasure. Oh, do I want a Mysterious Treasure yet? No, we'll wait. We'll wait. See what we get off the top of the deck. I can activate Counter Gain, but I don't want to. Just evolving into Drizzile with Wobbuffet out. That's a super alpha dog play right there. Just working on getting that Intellion out. And then has to take the knockout. So now I have to say, like, all right, where am I going? What direction am I going with this hand? Am I just going to lock the abilities up, but that doesn't really do anything? Or am I going to go garbage collection and actually start to play the game? I feel like I can't allow Jesse to have his abilities, like, at all. And I kind of just need to wait. I get Evolution Incense. Okay, so I've got Evolution Incense can get me Garboder. We can bench this and we can treasure the Bridget to go get Executor. And 
and that's fine and pass. So no abilities, but I am very much, thank you, BLVNK for that tier one sub in the eight months. I'm very much relying on my top decks right now. And Jesse could get to a point where he just has Gust on my Garboder, and then I don't really have anything. So we're definitely just kind of skidding by. All right, they got the third energy. Do they have boss? No, just hydro pump. Okay. So now we're looking at if I find a psychic energy, I at least can mind bend. We find boss. That's like fine though. It does maybe buy me a turn. Gust up this guy. Pass. And we got to hope for no switch. Oh, they got the Guzma. I kind of just set Jesse up for that play perfectly. Now I do think that I am going to just lose because Jesse's got three prizes left and I've got literally nothing. So, yeah, that's GG's, Jesse. All right, I'm going to request some salty runbacks here, but real quick, I did say I'd play against Smeef. That's for sure. I know you guys ain't got nothing to do today. You're on, it's Labor Day, so, yeah, you'll be doing salty runbacks all day. <laughs> This is the one day where like I I'm working, but chat is all off work. Alright, is it MDEM? Is that the, the screen name? Why the executor? Because the executor's sick. 180 damage, confusion. Nice, Salavian's in too. Cool. All right, make sure to add me MDEM. Of course you evolved a Drizzle on purpose. Of course. You're just building up your uh, Intellion. Nice. There we go, M Dem. Sure. Good luck. All right, we're keeping things pushing with the timed matches now. Vince? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you, Vince. I'll get you after this game then. Cool. Go a second. Yeah, you got it, Jesse. All right, we got an okay turn one hand going second, but not if my opponent's got a turn two attack coming. Playing against Dark. Dark can traditionally be a little tough for Psychic to deal with. We find Cynthia and Caitlyn. That doesn't exactly help. Yeah, Dark can definitely be tough for Psychic to deal with because you guys are weak to Dark. I mean, first and foremost, that'll do it. And then also, like, what you do as a Psychic deck doesn't really do a lot to what the Dark deck is trying to do. Like, turning off their abilities, they're like, oh, that's fine. They'll just get out of Guzzlord and knock out your fellas. And then you're having a bad time. And nobody wants to have a bad time. We find the rod. This is like weirdly probably a Cynthia and Caitlyn hand. Because you just want to see more cards off the top of the deck. Guzman Hall doesn't really get us what we need to get. Also, like, who's beaching here? This is a terrible hand to beach with. So... 
We'll probably Cynthia and Caitlyn. Get rid of the boss. I'm not going to use that early and draw three. We find egg. Ah! <laughs> That's fine. We find egg and we find double colorless energy and we pass. Um, in Gym Leader Challenge, it depends on your deck, but I like going second because it gives you an opportunity to use your setup supporters before your opponent does, which is nice. So usually you can have a stronger start going second. And since like the games aren't over in just a couple of turns, you uh, you know that uh, that advantage of getting the more powerful setup can outweigh the advantage of going first. But as we saw there, you know, not starting any of the setup supporters, we're like, ugh, it's kind of tough. It's cool, I didn't have anything going first either. So that's fine. All right, I got Ultra Ball. They could get Weavile. Weavile's got the Evil Admonition attack, which does more damage for the amount of abilities we have in play. So fortunately, that won't be too big against us. If my opponent decides to ascend into Weezing, that's also fine because I am not super duper reliant on my abilities. So that's okay. We're probably looking at Guzma and Hollow this next turn. To just go get ourselves beach and try to draw out of this mess. That's cool. Yeah, the tough part about playing the Garboder deck is that if your opponent does like counter your Garboder or like gust it up and knock it out, then you're like, Ugh! You're in a tough spot. Tails. Okay. We find mystery energy. Cool. Well, Guzma and Hala. Gosh, this is a this is like a mess of a hand for sure. To be clear, this hand kind of stinks. Going counter energy to egg. We're going float stone to egg. We're going counter gain here. We are going to Guzma and Hala. That's fine. I'm actually going to get rid of both these and we're going to ordinary route them back in. That's fine. And we're going to get my beach. Ah! No. It's fine. My beach is uh, it's no longer with us. It's OK. It's totally fine. I was, yeah, always going to be fine with this. It's fine, no sweats. Alrighty then. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. And we'll pass. Yeah, surprising the beach hurts. Because you can't, like, play... You can't play beach and Jubilife. It's like, that, that's so much. You don't need it. Just don't prize it, right? Just get good. Don't prize it. That's fine. This guy's not doing a lot of damage, but I am giving my opponent too much time right now. If I top deck a go lurk, I'm kind of chilling. I just like playing Beach or Jubilife in all of my decks that play Guzma and Hala so that you can turn Guzma and Hala into a draw card. I think that's important. Let's go. The turkey answered my call. Let's go. <laughs> Go get him, buddy. 
<laughs> We're in there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I really like Beach after Guzman Hall since you discard your hand down and then get to just refill. It's pretty good. I'm pretty sure the turkey is going to allow me to just kind of sweep this game. They are using Bridget, though. So that is, uh, you know, tough because they're going to start set up Guzzler. I don't like Guzzler. I don't like him, man. We're not friends, bro. Me and the in the guzzy. No chance. All right, we're gonna ordinary rod. Put those fellows back into the deck, and then we've got the Hisui and heavy ball, which is broken. Oh yeah, I didn't prize anybody. Okay, never mind. It's not broken. It's like worse than I thought. I can't even put the U-turn board down, which is so sad. But that's fine. We just got to keep it pushing. I can do that, I can do that. And we got a Juniper. And then, yikes, we've got Ralts, Nihilego, fine. Reinforce Punch, sure. Take that knockout, take our prize. It's level ball. But I don't have a backup attacker. Thank you, Mr. Minearts, for that prime sub in the 18 months. Yeah, no backups right now. So I kind of need to find... I kind of need to find my executor. But I'm not sure that I necessarily want a clean sweep right now. Oh, the field blower. No. Sad. Mimikyu, I just never found myself wanting to commit two energy to a Pokemon that only has 70 hit points. Nah, the Nihilego is sick. They got nothing. They have to let the go lurk die. That's fine. We promote Nihilego. And we see what we draw. Colrus. That's a big one. All right, cool. We'll get to Curlia. And. I can kind of just hang. Yeah. Like, we could just bridge it this turn. And just go get some other guys. That's fine. And then attach an energy. And pass. And then next turn, we go Gallade Culrus, which is probably fine. The Fury Belt there on the Guzzlord is definitely intimidating. I do not like that. And they got the Floater now. If they find Beast Ring, they're going to be able to power up that Guzzlord out of nowhere, so I really don't like that. I could do 180 damage to the Guzzlord. I mean, I could do 200 damage to the Guzzlord. It's got a minus 20 resistance to Psychic, though, so I do need to look out for that. I really like... The thing about Nihilego that I like is that the Void Tentacles can just be very good in the middle of the game. All right, my Curly is getting smacked. We hate to see it. By Spiritomb, but 
my Mew can easily resp uh, respond to the Spear Tomb, so that's okay. We're going to promote Mew. And then we've got Tag Call. That does not matter. I think I am going to try and lock abilities, though. So we'll put that down in Culrus. And we want to find Garbodor in an energy, which we do find. So I can go here and get the Garboder. So that means no more trade, no more none of that. And then the Psychic Energy. Can go there and then my rare candy is still at large so i think i'll rod or i'll rescue stretcher i guess i'll put all three back in i could just go for the rare candy play though yeah let's just go for the rare candy i'm i'm living large bro we're going for just the rare candy play i got like no tools left so it's not worth it to get go lurk again and we're just going to side power the active. Okay. I also really like that Nihilego is not dependent on what your opponent used as their attack last turn. So that's really, really good. Because it makes it harder for your opponent to play around. If they take this knockout, then... I've got Rare Candy into Gallade with teammates, but I probably want something better than that. Yeah, the Dragapult line protects the Gallade line from getting bossed. That's facts, because nobody bosses... Right, because nobody's going to boss the Gallade because everybody's bossing the Dragapult. That's true. I'll give you that. I mean, here you've got the Garboder and the Gallade, though. So they're both like... Right, they just have to as ascend into Zork. I'm nuts. Absolutely nuts at this game, that's for sure. We Rare Candy, and we've got the Colrus. Sheesh. Big Culrus for eight. We find our hero, Executor. Yeah, you guys just want to start sweeping, dog? <laughs> you ready to just unleash the clean sweep? That, like, can't be correct, right? But it also might be correct. Yeah, I feel like we just start sweeping. Anybody else down to just start sweeping? This is why he's here. <laughs> See ya. And now we just go sweep, sweep, sweep game. Because we've got our boater out. So no abilities. We just got off the Beast Ring turn, so I probably don't need to worry about the Guzzy. And that's exactly why he's here. To just do 180 damage. Because sometimes that's all you need. Now, unfortunately, I cannot KO the Guzzlord. So they can munch me. Discard the Psychic Energy is fine. We get Ball Guy off the top. It's Ball Guy just to thin the deck. Quick Ball, thin the deck. And I feel like I Mind Bend. No, that's not even a 2 KO. We just full clean, bro. You've got a zero card hand. We full clean. Yep. <laughs> Come on, man. I just need that. Yeah, you would have to get double colorless energy and like another buff to do 140. So I don't think they can do it. Exagior!
with the full clean. I'm telling you, Executor is pretty good. And also, there's a lot of synergy here because Executor and Nihilego both confuse for one energy, which is really good in a deck like this because you're turning off your opponent's abilities and then making the game harder for them to play. So, the one energy confusion, that's like one of the main reasons that Executor's in the deck. It's like, yeah, full clean is nuts, but... Oh, that's weird, Smeef. All right, up next... Yeah, oh, GG's, Smeef, GG's. Up next, I've got... Uh... Who was it? Vince, that's right. What's your screen name, Vince? That checks out. Cool. Give me one second, Vince. I'll be right back with some more Gym Leader Challenge in just a moment. What's up, gang? All right, we're ready. Vince, you're up. Esna Pace with the five gifted subs. Appreciate you, Esna. Let's get some hype in the chat for Esna Pace. With those five gifties, also had Ridgeway with the five gifters. Thank you guys. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful Labor Day. Maybe enjoying some time off. Jesse, I think that I'm uh I'm playing Vince and then I might run it back with Z now try and beat that grass deck and then you all right cool good luck Vince the executor kind of my boy yes paternal yes you can jump in the in the queue as well yes sorry paternal I forgot Vince keep denying Yeah, Paternal, I'll get to you right after this game. Because we haven't played yet. Cool. We've got... 
got Necrozma. We're going second. This is fine. I love this Necrozma card. Very good. Oh, wow. Necrozma versus Necrozma. Which artwork is better, guys? This one or the promo? Honestly, the promo is pretty fire. I gotta, gotta say. Golit, what you doing trying to play hooky, my man? Let's do... A Psychic Energy on Golit. And then Guzma turn one. I'm fine with that. And I'm taking them to Pound Town, baby. And then, uh, yeah, next turn, we'll see if we can get the turn two reinforced punch. Because I've got the Go Lurk right here, so I figured might as well, rather than just play N right off rip, it's like I've already got a switch card to get the Go Let in the active. I've got the Go Lurk right here. I've got the tool. So it's like I might as well see if maybe I go Go Lurk and find double colorless knockout, right? We'll bench that just for kind of board state stability and then N, looking for the double colorless. And we do not find it. That's okay. With Guzman and Hala, I can guarantee it next turn. Got a couple things prized. That's okay. Let's... Uh, we're in a little bit of an interesting situation. I feel like... Trubbish down is fine. But that we ought to... Yeah, pass. And then next turn, we probably Guzma and Hala for like double colorless and energy and a beach, and then we beach. Yeah, Marco, I'm not going to be in Baltimore. I'm going to be here working on my special project. So we'll not be at the Baltimore Regional Championships, unfortunately. But I do plan on going to Peoria. I'm signed up for Peoria. So I'm amped about that one. And it's got the new Lost Origin cards that are going to be legal for that. So that will be hype. For sure. All right, they've got Inke. They play Ball Guy. They got Quick Ball. They got Nest Ball. They got... Getting some dudes into play. That's cool. Gosh, name a more handsome Pokemon than Golurk. You can't. Golet, maybe. Adrianette says I can. No, you can't. <laughs> you cannot. You cannot. You cannot name a more handsome Pokemon. Politoed, not as handsome. Cyndaquil, not as handsome. No. It's <laughs> go lurk. <laughs> Look at this nice fellow here. He's a really nice fellow. Go lit better looking than go. Not. Nah, no shot, brother. Okay. So we've got the Evolution Incense, which we use to go get the Garboder. And then we will Guzma and Hala, and we're going to do the old discard thing. So we're going to get rid of these guys, and we're going to go get the Beach and the Floater and the Double Colorless Energy. So we are going to attach the horror psychic energy to the necrozma to kind of diversify my options turn off their abilities with the floatstone 
go here and beat. And I've got the double color list in my hand for next turn so that I can start smacking with a reinforced punch. So we love that. We should have them in a pretty tough spot now since they can't use their abilities. Well, they just have to beach. That's fine. We've got Dimension Valley, so I don't even need to use my double colorless energy, but I feel like we kind of want to not give them that. We'll go get Ralts, start to set up our fella and we've got the double colorless energy and we want to get rid of the psychic energy so that i have one in the discard pile for raihan potentially and then let's just call us for big that's a lot of cards i like that and we'll reinforce punch for knockout and it's game time gamers so looking at this hand, what do I like? What do I need? I don't have an energy in this hand. So it could be a fine opportunity to just grab that mystery energy so we have it. You know, if worse thing happens, yeah, that the Golurk goes down from the Necrozma, right? So then I can respond with my own Necrozma with the Dimension Valley. So that's pretty nice. I'm not sure about counter gain. Counter gain's like fine. Could be a different tool though. Could be, I've thought about rescue scarf because honestly rescue scarf would be very good on Garboder. If it gets knocked out, you just put it back down. Fun fact, rescue scarf was like the first tool that was played with Garboder. It was rescue scarf and giant cape were the tools that were put on Garboder. Giant Cape just gave it 20 more hit points. Rescue Scarf was like better because it allowed you to just, you know, if it got knocked out, you just started setting it right back up. Sure, I've got a, okay, I don't have optimal Golid in here. You're right. There's a return or yeah, one that fills your hand to six or something. It's pretty good. I'm getting paralleled, rude. It's fine. We'll get rid of these guys. I love Parallel City. I pretty much try to play par Parallel City in like all of my non-water grass and fire decks because it's just that good. But I'm not... I never know if like other, you know, decks are going to be playing it. I know that I love it, but... Hard to say. So we counter. Let's just go. Ordinary Rod. Shuffle up the two Pokemon. That's fine. I'm going to put back in the egg and the golet. And then let's just like slow and steady. Just Gloria to go get these guys. I don't even think Wobbuffet's useful. Does thin the deck though, so I'm okay with that. And then we've got the Mystery Energy with that. So we can put the U turn board. Um. No, I'll keep the U-turn board for now. Put the counter gain onto the gullet just to have a tool there. Retreat into Necrozma. And I'm okay with this. A special laser for the knockout. We could play regular heavy ball, that's true. Wouldn't be bad. I think that I probably just want the psychic energy again just to have it. I don't really see myself playing Cynthia and Caitlyn this next turn. I could see myself potentially using Culrus. We definitely are in a situation where we're trading back and forth. Oh, this is brutal. They've just got Surge in the hand. Okay. And Gallade. 
Surge and N. Wow, what a powerful turn they've got. That is good. Huh. And I get end to a terrible four cards. It's kind of tough. Okay. So what am I doing here? Swirling Slice is going to make it like slightly less easy to maintain attacks because you have to put the energy back to the bench, right? But they do have Gloria, so they can go get a benched attacker. And they've got Giratina and Dreepy, so they'll be able to move the energy back. But they might get stuck, which is kind of my hope. No, they have a third energy. My God. So they still, it's possible that they could get stuck if I eventually, if I remove this, which I think I kind of have to do. They take their 20 damage. They move the energy to the Tina. Promotes the Garbodor. And we find U-Turn board, which is like not a card that I want at all. So... Here's where everybody tells me that if I was playing the optimal Golet, that we would have a <laughs> we'd have a better game plan. I know, man. I know. All right. Okay. Fine. All right. So let's go field lower these. down the Mew, Twin Energy here, Psy Power, and then they need another energy to attack again this next turn, and I need to just find a supporter card to get me out of this. They do have the energy. Do they have a supporter to play? No. So they swirl and put the energy back to Giratina again. I promote Garbodor and see what we find. Find a psychic energy, which is not great. So this is all pretty bad actually. Let's go counter energy to Wobbuffet, and we have to Psychic Assault for 60. I have to hope that they don't have another energy now. I know, this could be an optimal Golit diff in this game. No, they're field lowering. Okay, and then they can use their abilities. That's so sad. They can Psychic Recharge, they can Buddy Catch. This is not going to go well for me. Is all the momentum, the momentum of this Gallade I could not keep up with, unfortunately. I think with that, I... I probably ought not to be able to respond. If I have Nihilego, is Nihilego in the discard pile? Yeah, it's right there. So I don't even have that. You know, I could potentially Nihilego this next turn, but with Dragapult in play now, ooh, that's bad. I need to top deck like Culbris or something crazy. For sure. I don't think we can do it. But let's see. Level ball's not going to cut it. Yeah, that's GG's, Vince.
Dang, bro. Unfortunately, did not have the start. I mean, it's just like the mid game. We really fell off there. It was just they got the Gallade upper hand. Such a good card. Hey, thank you, Lindsay, for the sub in the eight months. Hopefully, you're doing well. And then who else did I have on the list? I had uh, Paternal Pizza. Pizza, what's your screen name? Yeah, GG's, Vince, for sure. Your AMC Mullen? Cool. Let's do Optimal Golet. Could have made a difference there. I hate to admit it. Return. Yeah, that's the one for sure. Draw until you have five in your hand. How many heavy guys I got in here? I've got... He's heavy. These two are heavy. And Garboder is heavy. So regular heavy ball is like not bad. But I just don't know where you put it. I also want to play Tate and Liza in this deck. But I'm not exactly sure where I put that either. It's very tough to fit all these cards that I want. Evo Soda, Tag Call, Rescue Stretcher. Yeah, it's not pretty. The Lusamine can probably go. That's probably fine. Though I do like Lusamine in here a lot. I will admit it's not an early game consistency card and sometimes can be a little bit too slow. I'd like to go first. I've been choosing to go second. Oh, against fire? Yeah, we're going second for sure. Dang, what's up, man? Really want to keep that hand, bro. Yeah, waffle? You got it, waffle. Sure. This hand's cool too, though. It's fine. Probably got to add Let Loose Marsh out of this deck just because it's a one off card that really increases your consistency as it turns like all of these cards into some draw cards. So we'll probably look at that. Will Spall Guy. See what we're into. We've got Egg, Executor, Golit, Goler, Curlia, Trubbish, Garbodor, Wobbuffet. We do not have, there's something prized. I noticed the Gallade is prized. It's in my hand. Okay. What is prized? Necrozma is not here. That's fine. We'll get these geezers. And we can go get the Necrozma. Put that fella down. And then... Sacred Fire is going to be very annoying for my Mew. So I don't really want to deal with that. Now we can town map. That's cool. And I can take whatever cards I want. When I take knockouts, we'll evolve next turn into Curlia, so I'll probably just teleport teleportation burst. Yeah, that's probably what we got going on there. Then we'll nest ball for Mew. And I want a level ball for Curlia next turn. So the only other Pokemon that I kind of want is Quick Ball here. And we want to go get Hobbuffet. And say, all right, teleportation bursts. We go into the Hwab. Why don't I play Mr. Mime instead of Mew? Because Mew's Psy Power attack is so good. 
like so good. Especially with Dimension Valley, you can use it for free. So that's super cool. We got Charmander hitting the board. All right. And N, which is fine with me because my hand was not anything terribly exciting. And boy, oh boy, we have got the Rare Candy Gallade Gust. This is exciting. So let's go. Go get Gallade, shall we? And we can Rare Candy into Gallade. And then I think that we just set up one more turn. Like Buddy Catch for Bridget or something. And just go get a couple more basic Pokemon. And then next turn kind of pop off. So we'll do that. We'll Bridget. We're going to go get Egg and Trubbish. Is it going to be Egg and Trubbish? Or we go Golet and Trubbish. Golet is cool. Sorry, Egg. Yeah, it's definitely real, real Golet hours over here. We'll put the twin onto the Golet and pass. And then next turn, we're kind of ready to roll. Got the boys are all here. Maybe AMC attaches a fire energy and fire blasts my wob. The wob is really just hanging out to use by barricade to turn off all abilities while I set up my Garbodor. They actually miss the knockouts and just got to go for sacred fire. We find the lurky turkey, which is fantastic. And then can buddy catch for Culrus to draw. No. Did I already Culrus? No, it's prized. Even worse. All right. That's fine. I'm going to go for something way less exciting. Like... A Marnie? Guzma and Hala? We've already used Ball Guy. Cynthia? <laughs> I guess I'll go for Cynthia. That's fine. All right, we find Garboder, but we do not find the tool yet, so that's fine. We can do it next turn. And we get another turn to attach our energy. I can also smack them with the parallel. Why not take the first KO? There's really no reason to. This deck is all about, like, all about your board position, not about racing to the prizes. Your board position is like everything. So we just pass gladly. They've only got a couple cards in hand. They're just going to knock out the Wobbuffet, which then gives me an opportunity to respond. And we can go up with Gallade. And I've got a really nice uh, set of options here because we can teammates and we can go get the double colorless energy and we can go get the tool for my Garboder. So we'll do that and then I can also buddy catch just to really allow myself to get a very strong next couple of turns because I'm about to turn the abilities off so we'll buddy catch for Guzma just to have it in case I want it. And then you put the Floatstone onto the Garboder. We'll do that. I'll bench the Nihilego and we'll give the Ho-Oh a Swirly. And then the basic Psychic Energy is going back to the... Put it on Go Lurk and then do 190 to something next turn, which is kind of insane.
We'll put it to the Necrozma. Necrozma's fine. Oh, and then I did forget that I have, uh, yeah, I totally have the town map, so I can grab the counter gain, boost, reinforce punch with a Guzma next turn. But Galade's, yeah, Galade's like sharing of the energy is just such a powerful thing for the psychic type deck. It's like a, it's like another energy accelerator in a way. And we can see if Garbodor is doing its job here. I don't think that's that's the that's the whole idea with the Garbodor deck is that you set it up and then your opponent, yeah, your opponent kind of just crumbles. That's the whole idea, anyways. So they have to gust up Nihilego and pass because they don't have anything. I've got. Tate and Liza to switch into Golurk. And then we've got Reinforced Punch for 150 damage. And we'll take Culrus. That's the idea I'm going for in this deck is just like beat sticks, like psychic beat sticks with Garbodor that don't need energy acceleration. We kind of just manually attach, set up the ability lock, and just go. Well, I remember this. <laughs> this feels bad, yeah. <laughs> I remember this guy. Yeah, no, he's got to go for sure. <laughs> yeah, that thing is certainly a no-go. Yes, unfortunately, Garboder is one of those strategies that's not, not, uh, it's tough to play against. You know, if you want to tech for Garboder, then you might have to play multiple tool removal cards. But most players, I mean, we only find room for one field blower because, like, you want to play the field blower. but you can really only afford that one spot for tool removal. And then most of your cards that allow you to find the one of field blower, like your, you know, your Roserade or your Intellion don't work under Garbodor. So you have to use a card like teammates or Raihan or something like that instead. Okay. Continue just thinning the the handout. This is all good. And we'll just call risk for big. Keep attaching that energy. It's all we really need. Four psychic energy there is great. Reinforce punch. And we're chilling. We'll take our rod, but we should be able to just kinda run away with this one. Grand Flame doesn't even take the knockouts on Go Lurk. All right, maybe if it's like a rare candy Charizard field blower fire energy. Maybe. Has to be field blower here. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> there it goes. The crazy thing about using Field Blower, that was a really strong rip from my opponent. The crazy thing about using Field Blower there, though, is that you just allow me to use my Buddy Catch, which is, like, so nuts. Right, because now we can use Buddy Catch, and I can Buddy Catch for Raihan, which can allow me to basically do whatever I want to do. So we can Raihan to the Necrozma and then make sure I go get the U-turn board to put on to Garboder attached to the Gallade and we special laser. And we'll 
we'll grab the beach and we should have checkmate somewhat established because usually like I said decks are only playing like one copy of field blower but they've got teammates flare blitz does take four energy without the burn brightly ability which is a lot Probably won't be able to do that. Probably. I do also like the Garboda version of this deck because it should be good against the Kyogre decks also. When you've got Mew and then you've got Garboder, so obviously if Garboder's up, then you're turning off your own Mew, but it is just, you know, Garboder is really tough, I think, for the ability-based decks to deal with. All right, so we're in a situation now where if can field blower, buddy catch, Guzma and Hala. Look at this broken play right here. Guzma and Hala. It's a BM. I could have just, <laughs> could have just gusted, I think. But we're getting the muscle band. And then we give him the laser especial. GG's. GG's for sure. You want to see the Lost Zone Typhlosion again? Yeah, that was sick for sure. All right, Jesse, you're up next. Still around. Let's finish that best of three. You're already in game, dang, bro. All right, Zeno, finish the best of three. I ain't going down like that. Let's go, Zeno. What are you guys? What did you guys predict on? Who do I owe points to? Jesse, I got you next. Who do I owe points to? The believers or the haters? Don't lie to me. Because I don't remember. Oh yeah, this is... This is an opening hand, brother. This is what I'm talking about. All right, I just deleted and returned the points. Cool, we're going second. We got the Insano. Start with everything that we want, except for all of my basic Pokemon, which are apparently prized. We have prized, oh lordy, we have we have prized a number of fellows. Yeah, that's fine. Mostly the Ralts. We definitely prize the Ralts, but that's okay. I don't know that I want to just slam the town map because. Then I can't play Hisui and Heavy Ball, which could get me the Ralts. So I think I... But... No, we're fine. All right, slam it. Oh, the Heavy Ball's prize too. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Optimal plays. There we go. And then next turn, we've got Culvers. The Beedrill line is particularly interesting. And if Zeno does not have any other Pokemon, I'm going to be doing a hot Colrus for four. Which is not, like, optimal, maybe. Thank you, Blast Boys, for that tier one sub in the eight months. Blast Boys says, Yesterday at my shop's pre-release, we recruited five new players for our Gym Leader Challenge night. Thanks for giving the adults a format to live for. 
when standard was a slog. Of course, Blast Boys. I'm glad you're having fun. That's awesome. Good stuff. All right, off Bridget's. They've got these guys and Hyde fails. I will gladly evolve. And there's really no reason to slam down that Dimension Valley, so we'll just Culverus. And then we'll attach. our psychic energy to necrozma and pass we've got guzma and hala so we're probably going to use guzma and hala to draw some cards got thwacky cool and jet spear We'll actually just take that knockout. So now, uh, I don't want to give them abilities. If I take the knockout, I can get a card off my prizes, but there aren't really any like draw cards to get off my prizes. If I go Guzma and Hala, I can Guzma and Hala for the counter energy. Huh. Yeah, all these cards are pretty bad. <laughs> huh. How much are I thinking that they're going to take the response knockout? Let's just go here. Cynthia off the top of the deck is amazing. That's exactly what we wanted. Because now I can Guzma and Hala. And I can discard Gloria. It's like, because I wanted to use Guzma and Hala to keep pace and take this response knockout. But then I also really don't want to give up um, a supporter for next turn. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. I can grab U-turn board. I can grab a special energy, which will grab core psychic energy. And I can grab a stadium. We could get the D-Valley now, or I do the Counter Energy now. Counter Energy now is also fine. And then can Parallel. So we can do all of that. So we'll Counter Energy, Parallel City, and then we're behind a prize. I can just slap the U-turn board here. Special Laser for Knockout. And then off of the prizes, we want the Ralts so that we can start to set up Gallade. And we're hoping that next turn I can reinstate the ability lock. So I am giving Zeno one turn of abilities, which I don't necessarily want to do, but it's really all I got. So we have to do it. They've got the Grottle. The Grottle can use Sundrench Shell. Can go get either Rillaboom or Ivysaur or Venusaur, or something like that. And with the counter energy on the Necrozma, if the Necrozma does not get knocked out this next turn, I can just attach Basic Psychic and Special Laser again. Looks like they do have Rillaboom, but Rillaboom will not be able to get four energy on it to use Hammer in unless they've also got Rare Candy into Venusaur this turn. If they do have all of that, I will be quite impressed. And I definitely do not have a response if they have all of that, but I don't think that they do. Which is cool. So this could be a situation where you just like retreat and use Mind Bend. I also can just slam into the Rillaboom, honestly, for 160. It's not even bad. Find teammates off the top, so that's a pretty good card to have. I definitely want to use Cynthia, though, to continue drawing cards. I did prize my Muscle Band, so I won't be able to find the cards I need for the knockouts. Unfortunately, I did not find the Garboder, the Gar the Garboder, the Garboder either. 
So that's kind of tough. Yeah. Well, it's just special laser. It's a tough whiff for sure. But we're still in a fine spot. And then we need to make sure we find the garboder. But like Zeno could go knock out my Trubbish this turn if they want to. If they do that, I've kind of got a, a cool response actually. Yeah, they can use Roserade to go get what they want. It's crazy that early grass gym leader challenge lists were not playing Roserade, huh? That's wild. Yeah, this card's like one of the best cards in the dang deck. <laughs> it's like the best card in the deck. It's insanity. Gives you some perspective as to how good Shady Dealings is. All right, so they can Voltage Beat now somewhere else. Right, to the Grottle. That's fine. And take the knockout with Hammer In now that Venusaur is up. So I think that they're just leaving me then with my Trubbish, which is like ideal because now it's like, all right, you don't get abilities, right? I'll make sure of that. So we got Cynthia and Caitlyn, we got Raihan. Raihan guarantees me what I want. We don't have teammates in the discard pile. So we can go Raihan to accelerate an energy. Accelerate an energy to Exeggutor. And we just want to go get the Garboder. So let's get this guy. We'll retreat into the egg. Evolution incense for Garboder. So the abilities are locked. And then we put the horror psychic energy onto the gullet and we mind bend for knockouts. And we can take Okay. There are three evolution Pokemon in play. I feel like taking boss. I'm not like entirely sure here, but I think I could potentially like stall the Venusaur. That's probably just the wrong take. I probably should have just taken the muscle band. I kind of have to hope that, oh my gosh, they have the field blower. Okay, fine. That's fine. I got the field blower. And they can Yo, what's up, Chip? Yeah, I got my shiny Garbodor in here, man. He's cooler. And research. So this is pain for sure. Because they have the Torterra now. And I don't have like a teammate. I've got Raihan that I could play, or Colrus. Or four to four prizes. They don't have Rillaboom. So like I've got I've got some stuff going on, but I really need things to buff out. For sure. All right, so an energy is coming off of Torterra going on to Shining Genesects. 
I'll be able to lock up abilities again next turn. I kind of need to hit a Psychic Energy. I mean, I can guarantee go get Go Lurk, right? And do 160. But the problem is, oh, that's fine. Send up Ralts. Why are we doing this? I guess just to save the Torterra, which is fine. And Wishful Baton. Okay. That's fine. So, what do we think are the odds that. All right, scoop up net. Okay. Reset. So they've got two cards in hand, one of which I know is a... Yeah, that's fine, actually. Okay, so we send up Executor, and we go boss up the Venusaur, lock abilities again. And Ordinary Rod, do both. We're going to put back in Ralts and Necrozma, and we're going to put back in one Psychic Energy. And then we're going Mind Bend. And the wager is that Zeno is stuck here for a turn. It gives me a turn to be able to figure some things out. because we just locked up abilities again. Yes, so they are stuck. Very good. Which is exactly what we wanted. So we can knock out the Executor. If I do that, though, then I have no hand. So let's... I can knock out to the Venusaur with Executor. So let's think real quick. Versus Seeker can get me... Let's Cynthia and Caitlyn. And we're going to discard the Tag Call and get the boss back. See what we find. We find a float stone and another psychic energy. If I full clean, that seems like a bad idea. So we're not going to full clean quite yet. We'll attach the double colorless energy to the golet. And we're going to mind bend. Yes, I, yeah, Simba, you played. Zeno played both of his switch cards. He played the rope and he played the the scoop up net. And I was like, well, I guess it is going to be a good time to boss stall, huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Omnitos. That's incredible. Wow. Congratulations. That's insane. Yeah. Very cool. And we topped at Guzma. But I do not have I want the go lurk really bad. So let's versus seeker for Cynthia and Caitlin and just grow our hand a little bit more. I'll Cynthia and Caitlin and discard the Juniper. I really don't want to play that. So we get Culrus. Find a level ball, which can go get me the Ralts back. It's quite good. And then I can attach this energy to Ralts and Mind Bend again. We're getting there with the Mind Bend chat. It's working. <laughs> Executor be working up here for sure. All right, there's like really no Rillaboom in play. Like definitively none. We really want an Ultra Ball or something like that just to get our guy out. So like it's, it's Ball Guy. Like we just want Ultra Ball for discard the beach 
and the Tate and Liza is fine. We can go get Curlia. So then I'm like very ready to go next turn and could evolve into either one of these fellas. I could do, I, I am not gonna full clean still. Yeah, that's for sure. So we're just going for another mind bend. Ball guy. Yeah, we caught this Venusaur slipping for sure. Yep. Feels good, man. Now we'll... Put the floater onto this guy. Put the counter gain onto... Let's see, is my muscle band already in the discard pile? No. Surprised? Yes. Okay. That's fine. All right, I think this is correct. And we mind bend. Okay. And then <clears throat> we set up the Torterra because I know that the Torterra is the biggest threat on the board right now. And I don't actually have any way to one hit KO it. So by doing this, it's like, all right, I can do 160 damage. I can't do 190 though. So I bring it up, I confuse it. It's the best thing I can do. It damages itself, and now I'm I'm in it. That's right, I'm in it. Okay, and we go. Counter gain. To the Curlia Dimension Valley in play. Quick ball. No, I'm just going to end. And I think it's about time we full cleaned. Yep. So I'm going to Evolution Incense and go get the Go Lurk. Evolve into Go Lurk. We'll, let's see, Rescue Stretcher for the Wob back. That's fine. Get it. Got it. Okay. And we definitely don't mess around with this. Just full clean. Take that knockout. And then we're saying, okay, next up, the Nihilego is probably pretty good considering that Simba's about to go to two prizes potentially. Well, I guess the Genesect is like not taking a knockout on this egg. <laughs> <laughs> so never mind. Yeah, that's uh it's got 140 hit points. He's huge, dude. What an absolute animal. Just look at him stomping around. Got the third energy, he can do 110 damage. Chaotic swell is definitely annoying. And has to use Gaia Blaster. That's fine because I've got Necrozma and we mind bend. Which is cool. Gloria getting Weedle, sure. It's gonna be a Tails on this confusion flip every time. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got the Gallade. It's here and ready to party. 
So I could retreat this. It would cost me one energy to retreat, and I could take the knockouts. But then they pass the three energy back to Zarud, so I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? It, it does matter. Yeah, we just do it. You do it. I think so. And then I need a card off of this, and we'll take Muscle Band. Two, four, six, eight. So they're doing 130 right now as the Rude. Now they're doing enough for the knockouts. So we're promoting Egg. And I guess just going for Confusion again with Mind Bend. They take 20 damage. So I only need to do 110. We're tied at two to two prizes. We get a psychic energy off the top, which is fine. We put it here and we go mind bend. I've got the B drill who could take a knockout on me, but then they'd have to retreat the Zarude. Putting it back to 120 damage potential. So they are going to retreat it. Zarud's got three energy on it. So they've got this knockout, which will activate my counter gain and allow me to swirl. I've got 10 cards left in deck. I need a good one. Rare Candy is not a good one. Huh, this is really tough. Okay. Swirling Slice. And it's gotta go. Huh. I think the Wabafet. We'll take Nest Ball. Dang, this is close, bro. Even if I just get the Field Blower, it would be huge. Oh, yeah, it's Guzma for game. Dang, just got it like that. GG's. Dang, one to one. That was so close. I can't help but feel like maybe I misstepped somewhere in the middle to lead to that. Like maybe there was something I could have done better. Yo, GG's there for sure though. All right, I'll see if Jesse is available. GG Zeno got away with it this time. <clears throat> yeah, that was tough. For sure. Dang. I wonder if there's like anything I could have done there. Yeah, I think so. Put floatstone on egg and gain on Golurk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. 
You're definitely like walking a a tight rope there. Okay, we got like a really like really loaded hand. This hand is bananas for sure. It's got absolutely everything you could want. Everything. This hand's got it all. We've got Bridget's. We've got Mysterious Treasure. We've got Evolution Incense. Tropical Beach. My goodness. Doesn't get much better than this. Love to see it. Definitely going for the uh, going for the turn one beach for sure. Bridget, we want to set up Garboder turn two and start slugging away. Jesse's doing a little prize check for sure. Oh, there goes my shuffling. Vulpix and Remoraid. Cool beans. We've got the Wob right there. Brigetti. See who we got. Trubbish. Garbador in the deck. Ralts. Gallade in the deck. Curlia is not in the deck. So prize. But that's fine because we do have rare candy potentially. Yeah. And then Golitz would be the other one that I want to get. So we're going to grab these guys. And then I would say that I would like to get the Huabafet in the active right now. So I guess it doesn't really matter, though. <clears throat> I could put the counter energy anywhere, but I mean, just... Yeah, shutting the abilities down right now is so sick. So let's do that. We'll attach there. We'll do this. And treat into Wava Fett's beach. And then we say, all right, turn one, no abilities. Turn two, no abilities. The double heads on timer ball. Nah, nar, nar. Doesn't matter. Can't use shady dealings. Can't use abyssal hand. Can't do any of that. Guzma, though. No, bro. Ain't no Guzma out here. Get that Vulpix in the active and then can shady dealings for a uh, Snom. That's fine. <clears throat> and then I've got a pretty good next turn built up still. Like I'm definitely still chilling. Yeah, nest ball, go get the little snom fella. For the frost moth that I already know is in your hands. Yup. And then probably end their turn with beach. Or beacon. One of those two, right? Probably beach. Oh, the smell. It's going to be a bacon. That's fine. I love me a chaotic smell. It's great. So then this next turn, I think I'm just going to kind of take it slow and steady. Like we're just going to Tate and Liza switch, attach an energy and evolve. Yeah, like go back into Wob, Evolution Incense for the Garb. Treasure discarding 
probably boss is fine. And my curly is priced. That's right, curly is priced. Okay. Is Necrozma in here? It is. Get Necrozma. <coughs> And we'll attach an energy to Necrozma and pass. And then I would have liked to have beached this turn, but that's fine. I'm wagering that Jesse does not have another way to push my Wabafet out of the active position. That would be preposterous. Absolutely mad. That Wobbuffet is staying right there for sure. And then, yeah, Juniper. See? Yeah, no sweats. And then we'll have to start manually attaching, which is exactly what I'm doing. So nice and fair. We got Starmie and the Whalmer. Cool. I will gladly attach a Psychic Energy to Golet and then N to disrupt Jesse's hand. We find Field Blower. My beach is in the discard pile. That's fine. That's okay. We'll field blower the smell. Put the U-turn board on and pass. That's fine. We've got Guzma and Hala potentially for next turn. Maybe Ball Guy. Would definitely like to Guzma and Hala for the beach, but we ain't doing that right now. Ironically, we make this wishy-washy a lot stronger with Garboder, with Garboder out because it's not going to go back into the deck ever. So it's kind of a funny thing. The Scatter is a double-edged sword for sure. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's really bad. It's nice for denying prizes, but also can affect your board states. Got Nessa back for the Intellion, but can't use the abilities. It just has to beacon again. It's kind of showing me that the hand is somewhat jammed, just with nothing too much going on. We find teammates in Guzma Hala. So I'm thinking that we just Guzma and Hala to get some things going, like energy drops and stuff like that. So let's do that. Get Dimension Valley. We can get Horror Psychic Energy, and we can get a tool card like Muscle Band. That's cool. Yeah, this Wob Effect kind of low-key about to go in, so. <laughs> yeah. Y'all never seen a Wob Effect like this. <laughs> Yeah, you never, man, you never seen a Wob Effect go off like that. No shot, brother. Never, never in your life. I got the floater for the moth. Yeah, this Wob Effect threatening the KO, man. That's right. And it's about to get it. Jesse's figuring if I just keep thinning the deck, I will eventually have to draw into something good, right? You would think. Psychic Assault. We're going to take the first knockout. That's nice. 
And we find Marnie. All right. So now the wishy-washy conveniently will eat 20 damage from the Wobbuffet if Jesse's got a water energy and takes that knockout. And then I've got teammates. Or Raihan. Probably has to be teammates, huh? <clears throat> and probably teammates for the town map. Doesn't have the water. Woof. Do I really want to Marnie this hand? I mean, Jesse's literally not doing anything, so I don't even want to Marnie this hand. Now, Cul I could get behind a Culver's for 10, though. That's fine. I think I'll live with the old Culver's for, for 10. Cool, so I got eyes on that Curlia now. Didn't want to show up for work, did you, Curlia? I don't want to hear any excuses. We'll just Psychic Assault again, and then I've got Guzma, potentially. Just a pass from Jesse. Ain't got nothing going on over there. I've got Guzma, but I actually do not have like the most meaningful attack with the Guzma. Because I need an energy in my hand, and I do not have one. So, I'm thinking that we just stay the course. And Psychic Assaults. Yeah, because one more Psychic Assault, this Whalmer's going down, so... The, the Wob's the extreme here. <laughs> you think he's going to goose on my Garboder? Grow up, dude. <laughs> What the heck, bro? What the heck, bro? Alright, well, Hydro Splash. Problem here is that... Okay. I could take the knockout on this thing with Go Lurk. If we get one more energy. Which is fine. So we'll go for that. We got Cynthia and Caitlin. Fifteen cards left in the deck. Oh, it, I can already use Megaton Fall because of the D Valley. Dooley. All right, that's sick. Okay, so let's rescue Stretcher, shuffle three, and we're going to shuffle back in. You lovely gentlemen right here. And then... We're going to Cynthia and Caitlin. And discard Cynthia and get back Culrus. That's fine. We find Rod and Rare Candy. So I'm like, gosh, we're close, dude. We did not find an energy though, which is annoying, but fine. So I can just go. Oh, why can I not make a ton fall? Oh, I need two psychic, so I cannot take that knockout. That is annoying. That is frustrating. Okay, that's fine. So I need to reinforce punch with this. That's fine though. We'll just do that. That's right. So that's back in the deck, which is fine. But Jesse has his abilities now, and I'm not turning them off, which is bad. Huh. Jesse's got a lot of cards in his hand, too. The thing that I'm kind of hoping is that maybe it's got to be a Wailord attack next turn. And if it's a Wailord attack, then I can finish it off with Wobbuffet. Which, like, could be okay. I also, thankfully, do have some... I do have some Pokemon, like, built up, so that's nice. Getting the Garb knocked out is definitely not great for us. So...
Let's see what Jesse does off this shady dealings. Can get two trainer cards from the deck and use Frostmoth to accelerate. Looking at a boss's orders, which is interesting. So I wonder who Jesse's going for. Probably just attacking with the Intellion, if I have to guess. Or maybe attacking with Wishiwashi again if there's three energy in the hand. And wanting to gust up and knock out something else. So, yeah, it's definitely tough. Would have preferred at this point that the Wishiwashi not go back into the deck. Wishiwashi does not knock out Golurk, which is interesting. So I was going to knock out the Necrozma instead. Which is fine, because if I do find an extra energy for my Golurk this turn, then I will actually be able to take this knockout. The problem is that I cannot put the uh, ability lock back up, though. Which is quite bad. So... That's not good. Thankfully, the Whalmer is damaged. That is something that is good for us. All right, so Jesse's up by one. We top deck the Psychic, which is great. So let's attach the Psychic, bench the Nihilego, and Ordinary Rod to both. Put that back into the deck. And one of these back into the deck. And then let's Culris. And we really want to find the Trubbish. So we've got the Trubbish again which is cool. It would have been way better to like also get the rare candy combo, but that's fine. We'll just Ultra Ball away these two. Go get the Trubbish back out. Verse Seeker is in my hand, but the teammates is in my deck. So we could do that. And then we just go Megaton Fall for the knockouts. And we get a prize, which is quite good. So we will take the double colorless energy seems great. And then the hope is, whew, hope is that I can top deck something good. Let's see, what do I have? Four to four prizes, boss is in the discard pile. It's possible for me to get Possible for me to get Garbodor out again. The Golurk is going to go down to an Intellion, which is fine. I feel like it's probably just Colrus this next turn. It's probably what we're looking at. Scoop up net, reset the Whalmer. It's super annoying. I was actually thinking maybe Psy Power ping the Whalmer. But yeah. If I top deck... If I top deck Rare Candy or Gallade, I can get Gallade this next turn. But we don't want just Gallade. We want two Ability Lock as well. Ideally. Yeah, there is the wishy-washy getting loaded back up. Which is tough. Only so many cards left in Jesse's deck. Now, abilities are not turned off, so you won't get the 20 damage snipe. Lava Fed is pretty much pointless now. Put that up. Top deck of Psychic Energy, which is like not very good. 
So, what are we doing? Three prizes left. That's fine. We'll do this. We'll do this. Raihan isn't really doing it right now. I could confuse, but I think it's better to just go up with Wobbuffet and end to three. Yeah, something like that is probably fine. And then we'll attach our energy per turn to Ralts. Ending myself to four is kind of sketch. So I could just Marnie. I mean, we kind of need to. Well, OK, I don't have to. I have to. All right. Versus Seeker could get me the end. The end is probably the best hand disruption card I have. Or a Colrus for just a lot. I don't really hate Colrus play. Let's just go for the end, though. That's fine. I definitely want to hit the Garboder here. And we do. This is actually pretty ideal. So we're going to go retreat into Wabafets, and we're going to evolve into Garboder, and then we're going to Psychic Assault. So even if Jesse has Field Blower, it's fine. It's not taking the knockout this turn. Jesse could go to two prizes remaining. by knocking out my Wobbuffet. If Jesse does go to two prizes remaining by knocking out Wobbuffets, then I can come up with Nihilego. And finish this thing off with an Aqua Bullet. Right? So we go, oh, that's nuts. We Rare Candy here. And we go, teammates for psychic energy what else do we want like Raihan is probably like my best supporter for next turn just as it allows me to get an extra energy into play or like whatever I want really to help me deal with like any given situation so that's fine so we'll go mystery energy and we go nightcap aqua bullet 20 damage to the wishy-washy putting the wishy-washy at 160 damage which means that it is now within range and i can take the parallel city which is pretty good Jesse's only got nine cards left in deck. I know there's a field blower at large somewhere there, but nope, there's not. It is in the discard pile, so there is no field blower. So there should be no abilities for the rest of the game, which means that we've kind of got set up right where we want it. Wailer's got two energy on it now. Hydra Splash will take the knockout, but I've got Raihan. Jesse's only got one prize left to take to my three, but I feel like I'm in a pretty good position now. I've only got seven cards left in my own deck. I gotta watch out for Gusts. If Jesse just says Energy Gust, he wins right now. So I have to hope that he doesn't have that. We're going to Raihan to the Glade and just go get another Psychic Energy. Parallel. Shouldn't really matter, I don't think. And then Swirling Slice for Knockouts. 
And we can put that energy back to the execute. We'll get the floater. Only six cards left in deck. Does Jesse have energy gust? To win with Whalmer? There's Lapras Energy, Marnie. Oh my gosh, so close. What the heck, bro? This is gnarly, man. So the Lapras can come up and confuse. It's not exactly what I want. Counter gain does not help us, so we just want to my energy situation I know I'm low oh yeah we're low dude for sure it's Marnie play no cards okay and I think we go three cards left in deck Retreats and mind bend. I need Jesse not to have energy gust again. Man, bro, Irda fails the Irda. This is a crazy game. And hydro pumps. So I have to Guzma and Swirling Slice. Moving the psychic energy back. And I need Jesse to not have win. One to one prizes. And does he have it? Does he have it? Extended the hand. Hex. Doesn't matter. That is GG's. We have got the full clean for 180 damage in game. Excellent stuff, Jesse. We'll go to game three. That was a really close one. That was super close. Yeah, let's predict. first it's fine with me we've got our brave little Mew here and Necrozma who I've got no problem slapping that energy onto and then as much I really don't want to waste this Raihan but I also don't want to get rid of any of these other cards so 
That's fine. Let's Mysterious Treasure, get rid of the Raihan, and take a look at the deck. We've got the Executor. We've got Golurk. We've got the Gallade line. We've got Garboder, but we don't have the Troubadour. So Trubbish Prize. What about Suing Heavy Ball? That's in the deck. Okay. So... Wapafet is also here. Let's go for Ralts and pass. And then, oh, my! a buddy of mine gave me this hat. Yes, it is very cool. I like it. Thank you for the compliment. We've got Bridget now. And keep calling to fail it. See other Rapid Strike Pokemon in the deck. Oh, oh, we're popping off, dude. Rare candy into Gallade. Buddy catch for the ball guy. Turn up, chat. Turn up, ball guy. Go get Hisui and Heavy Ball, level, level Ball, maybe Nest Ball, Ultra Ball. Get all the balls out. Hisui and Heavy Ball to go get my Troubadour. Yeah, come on out, bud. We'll nest ball, go get the gullet. And I'm ready to pop off next turn. Do this thing. I'm turning up. The turn two rare candy Gallade. Doesn't happen every game, but when it does... Sui and Basculin can go get a couple of guys. That's fine. I'm potentially threatening Garbodor this next turn. And I've got Buddy Catch to help me do it. So I can definitely guarantee the Garbodor if I Buddy Catch for Guzman Hala, which I think is in the deck, so let's check. It is not in the deck. Dang it. I knew I saw it somewhere, but it was in the prizes. So we'll just play like a more boring supporter like Juniper or Culbris or something. Marnie's honestly fine too. Marnie is like honestly okay. Because I can... Make sure, like, all right, don't give me this. And then I can Ultra Ball and discard these. And then get the Garboder. And then Marnie, Marnie over Cynthia because Marnie gets me the next five cards where Cynthia, I could just draw back into these same cards, and I don't want to do that. So let it rip with Marnie. Looking for a tool card. We do find one. Maybe not the one you dream of, but it is the one we get, so we will take it. And then I can also potentially quick ball away this Hwapafet. Go to start to set up my Eggman. Love it. All right, the gamers are all here. Got the ability lock moving. I just need to keep finding energy now. And we've set this game up to now where both Jesse and I. Oh, yeah, Lizzie, you got to. It's a lot of fun. We've made it so Jesse and I are just manually attaching now, which is exactly what it wants. The floater is good. We can put the floater on the Mew and N, which I hate to give Jesse new cards, but I need to do some stuff or else we're not getting anywhere fast. Let's just go Psychic Energy onto Necrozma and Barrier Attack for 30. I'm okay with that. We've got Tag Call we can use to go grab the 
Cynthia and Caitlin, which can get me back. Boss, Raihan, any of these good supporters. So that's cool. Jesse canned Irida for the field blower, which would allow him to remove the tool from my Garboder. Yes, it's going to be Drizzle Field Blower. That's about the best turn that I think Jesse could cook up, which I'm fine with. Like, we lose, we lose the Garbo Lock for this turn, which is fine because it was before Jesse really got to be able to set up. So it's tough because it could mean that the Necrozma is getting knocked out. But that's okay because I've got... Uh, you know, I've, I've got stuff I can start working towards. And also it allows me to buddy catch. So that's like the crazy thing about this is if you feel blower the Garbodor, it's like, cool, I'm just going to literally go get the supporter that I want and then lock the abilities right back up. So I do like that. A lot of synergy there. Now, Jesse could get... He's only got one Shady Dealings to work with. Doesn't have the Frost Moth in play yet. Needs to get two energy to the hand to accelerate energy onto Wishy Washy. Could be Evo Soda for the Frost Moth. Yep. And then has got a couple of energy in hand to accelerate to the Wishy Washy. Just one and has to draw. And that's it. So that, that's a pretty ideal situation for me because... It wasn't super duper consequential. There wasn't like a lot that Jesse was able to do during his ability turn. And then now I am able to just like completely lock up the abilities for the rest of this game, which is fantastic. So let's put the counter energy onto well, Cynthia and Caitlin. And we're going to get like Raihan back. Cynthia and Caitlin. We're going to get rid of Tate and Lizer. We're going to go get Rihon. It's good. And then I don't think we really need this card anymore, but we'll play it just to thin the deck. We've got the U turn board for the Garboder, and we'll attach a Psychic Energy to our Gallade, and then Barrier Attack. Making it so my Necrozma is taking minus 30 damage this next turn. So even Wishy Washy is not going to be able to hit the knockout on Necrozma. And then also, all oh, the Guzma up the garb. That's fine. I'm in a pretty good space to be able to deal with this. So that's fine. Do I have Muscle Band in my deck still? I do not, because it originally went onto the Garboder, so that is sad. It's five to five prizes. What if I have... There's Executor. It's five to five, so I can't use Counter Gain. I also have no Basic Psychic in my discard pile, so that's fascinating. So there's nothing really I can do there. That's fine. So we have to, I think barrier attack again is still fine. We're gonna ordinary rod back in these two. And then we teammates. To go get. Trubbish and That's fine. It seems like a very wasteful teammates, but it's all good. We'll buddy catch one more card. Just in case something nasty happens. We're gonna go into Executor and just do the old mind bend. Which seems fine. 30 confused, could scatter, it does. So that's fine. And then we're still potentially getting Garboder back out again next turn. 
Not a lot of supporters left in my deck. Only 16 cards left, but we're still doing okay. Executor having 140 hit points puts it out of range of Intellion also. So that's pretty good. And that's, I mean, this is one of the reasons I like Executor, just because it's like a, you have two options on it. It's like a two-pronged, you know, two-pronged attacker. You either got the Mind Bend, which is like really good for poking and disrupting, and then you've got Full Clean for like when it's time to, you know, get really degenerate. <laughs> yeah, when it's time to get like real silly, then we're going to start Full Cleaning. Looks like Jesse was able to find that Ultra Ball when he was looking for. So that's good. And can get an Intellion. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Lizzie, for sure. We'll see what this Intellion do. No, wishy-washy, going back with the wish-wash. It's fine, wishy-washy is kind of tough to deal with. Having that 180 hit points, my only attacker that can adequately deal with it is Executor. So I would kind of have to find my Dimension Valley and take a knock out that way. It's so crazy how much of the game we've played, and it's like we're at five to five prizes, and it's like we're still just... This is why this is like peak Pokemon, in my opinion, right? It's like the best Pokemon TCG experience you can get because there are so many different opportunities for players to play well or to play poorly or for players to like... There's You could go through an entire 30-minute game and then be like, yeah, that game was probably hinged on that one turn where I did this instead of this. Which is one of the reasons it makes it so fun to just keep returning to the formats. Because it's really rewarding in that way. All right, it's got the Starmie, can Space Bacon... Get rid of the Blastoise. Nice shiny Blastoise there. Put the water onto the Wish Wash. Doing 130 damage. Not a knockout, though. And doesn't have any other energy in play. We find our Golurk. And I can, like, go in with Necrozma if I want to. But I think I'd rather try and look for... That was just Cynthia. I'd rather look for Garbodor again. And we find Garbodor right there. Which is super good. And now we're right back on that grind set. <laughs> yeah. So here we are. At this point, Jesse has gusted the Garbodor, has field blower the Garbodor, and yet... The Garboder persists. That's right. You cannot simply KO the Garboder. <laughs> no shot, bro. You are not flipping heads here. <laughs> you are not flipping heads, my, my dude. You are not. There's no chance. <laughs> no, you never get it there. Yeah, keep dreaming, dude. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> cool so the Garbodor dodges that hit because of confusion which is great I've got the Dimension Valley so I can Guzma up the Frost Moth and Jesse kind of acknowledging that yeah that probably is going to do it in we can go get the Double Colorless Energy off of that so I can attack with Gallade next turn and you can see how this is like what the deck is supposed to do you kind of just you're okay going behind a couple of prizes you're setting up this board state where you just ability lock and then slam with your beat stick attackers and the executor is for like the end of the game or when you need it 
obviously executor's not as very good at the beginning of the game because you're like discarding your hand while you're trying to set up but at this point in the match you can do things like send energy back to executor or Raihan to the go lurk and go get counter gain and bench that and give him the old swirly slice but yeah at this point now executor is pretty much ready to full clean and it's this attacker that you could just feed energy to with like Gallade and for the last couple prizes, you're like, oh, yeah, well, if there's anything that I need to one hit KO, I can one hit KO it. Jesse saying, GG's. All right. Well played, Jesse. Well played. Oh, yeah. The new Mewtwo is going to be Nutter Butters for sure. I think the Executor probably just goes for new Mewtwo when it comes out. I know, Jesse. Yeah, that was really brutal for sure. Most definitely. All right. Well, that is... That is the Garbodor Psychic deck that I've been working on. I really enjoy this deck. I think it is very good. I think that this chip was giving me a hard time because he's acknowledging that this is not the correct... It's not optimal Garbodor, right? Offensive bomb. This one's technically better. But it doesn't matter, bro. This one's so much cooler. Yeah, I'm playing the shiny one every time. So, like, theoretically, especially with double colorless energy, I could attack with offensive bomb. You go psychic, double colorless, and then, like, dimension valley, and you're using offensive bomb, which confuses and poisons. So, technically, this one is the correct one. Technically. Technically. Because Confusion and Poison, that's what I'm talking about. Confusion and Poison's pretty good, man. He does Confusion. Nihilego does Confusion and Poison. I agree, though. If you're not blinged out, what's the point? You want, you want to put that shiny garb into play and flex every time. I have used the garb attack. I, I've used it. I, I've used it. Anyways, that's it for the stream. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those Gym Leader Challenge matches. Absolutely love the Garboder deck. I'll be posting it in the Tricky Gym Discord for anybody interested. Um, there's some unique changes that I've been making to the Garboder deck over the course of the last you know couple of months since I last made a video about it. I'm not playing the Let Loose Marshadow or the Miss Magius, as you can see, we're really just focusing on the bread and butter of what this deck does best, which is setting up your beat sticks and then setting up ability lock. Like, that's exactly what we're trying to do. You just like ability lock, beat stick. That's it. I really like the Nihilego in here. Nightcap was like consistently very good in this deck because at the end of the game, when resources are really tight, Nightcap can just like give you that one energy punch, which is like very valuable. And also, just I'm telling you, with Garbodor up, confusion with Garbodor is like very, very good. So that's why one of the reasons Executor's in here too. And the Nihilego, because they both do that. So yeah, that's going to be it for the stream. Thank you guys all so much for hanging out today. I'm going to be back tomorrow with some more Pokemon trading card game action. And then on Wednesday, I think. I think I'm going to try and uh, do the uh, incandescent arcana opening, but it depends on when I get those boxes. So I'll let you know in the Discord when those show up and when I plan on doing the stream. And then Thursday is the set release of the Pokemon trading card game online Lost Origin set. So that should be exciting. But again, we're going to have to play it all by ear because I don't know exactly when... Um, I am going to be needed for my other project on those days. So, yeah, that's what we got on the agenda.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com for all the best Pokemon trading card game singles and sealed product. Supporting the shop at Full Grip Games directly supports the content I create here on Tricky Gym. Also helps me and my friends keep our jobs, do what we love to do. So I really appreciate you guys for that. And that's it. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. See ya.